manager. Do do do. Do do do. There we go. I can at least see that. And then Voxel's being a bit of a juke, so I guess I'll just leave that alone for the moment. Cool. Now let's see here. Is that all I need? I think that's about all I need for the moment. And since you are recognizing that we're live, may as well get that done and out of the way. Cool. Now then, where's Twitter at? Uh, always nice when that happens. Now let's see here. Where's my Starbound thumbnails? Do, do, do. Starbound. Oops. Good afternoon, all, and welcome to 2022. Let's have a good start to the year and relax a bit in Starbound. Starting now. Link in the replies. EnvTuber, AutomaTubers. Up. Better. Mm. <laughs> Doot. Let's see here. Go live. Copy link. Then just chuck that there. Cool. Much better. And I think that gets us pretty much prepped and ready to go, so... Why don't we just get things started? This is going to be a long-form game anyhow, so... Oh. You're not showing. There we go. Alright then. Let's see what we can do. Because we need to start getting ourselves some gold. I also need to heal. And eat. Let's see. I can heal by doing that. Wait, we can just eat like that. Much better. That is a lot louder than I keep thinking. There we go. That should do it. Cool. Alright then. We're gonna need to do some form of mining, so... Let's just get it going. Is that a good place to start? Probably. We'll need some coal if we're going to be going anywhere anyways. Screw you, sir. Nope. Oh. Can't really charge through a spear now, can you? Up. Got to wait down here. And then ghosts aplenty. I'm not really sure why they're out with a vengeance today, but... Oops. Oh, did I knock him back far enough? Okay, later, ghosts. Let's see. That's silver, I think. May as well grab that. No, oh, tungsten. Right, tungsten is the triangle, silver is the circle. <laughs> hey there, Solace. Welcome, welcome. God, I cannot control the audio on this game very well at all. One second. Do, do, do. Let's just put it there. That should balance it out relatively okay. But how goes things on your side, Solace? Aside from your one hour of sleep, how has Saturday been treating you? Oh, goodbye, ghost. Let's see. I really cannot place things very far, can I? Oh, there we go. Not too bad, just been in Minecraft. Always a good thing to do. Oh, there's some coal. Oh, 
Goodbye to you. And phase matter. I have no idea what phase matter is. But Minecraft is always good. If you do have a good build in mind at the very least, you at least have something to look forward to once you get all the mats together. Anything specific you're building, or is it just kind of doing the regular grind to get things going? Because I know I've been kind of dropping the ball on that lately. Let's see here. That's a no. Don't really want to dig through stone if I don't need to. But I guess we'll just go down this way. And then we gotta scan objects for floor and clues. I'm gonna try and see if we can get better armor and weaponry before we deal with that this time. Because I did that on another character just to remember how to play the game. And I kinda got my butt kicked just in this default armor. So let's just take a peek. Helping Kin build the Tanuki village. We've got our villager shops mostly sorted. And I've basically become the villager engineer. I mean, villager engineer is not really the worst thing in the world. Although in terms of villager engineer, does that mean that you're tailoring the trades to actually make them usable then? Or are you just building their homes so that way they can actually get, you know, work done? Because I know villager trading has advanced quite a lot since the original villagers update. There we go. Hey, there's the cave system. Or at least a little bit of one. Much better. I'm optimizing their offerings and doing the village's redstone needs. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, well, this is a really pitiful section. Okay, keep going. But definitely not a bad thing. I know overall, when it comes down to villager trading, it's definitely just helpful to have. Especially as long as you can get, like, a farm going. And even if you automate the farmers themselves, that tends to make things relatively okay. But I'm not sure if... Admittedly, since it's Mousy's and someone else's server, I think they're fine with all the villager trading stuff. I think they've kind of dismayed it on Mousy's personal one. Or at the point where we're getting diamond enchanted gear without ever setting foot into a mine. Oh, okay, you're already that far then. <laughs> this is why villager trading is actually optimizable in this day and age. Also, just get rid of that. It's not needed. Actually, no, it was needed. I needed to put this here. So I'll probably need that in a minute. Let's see. Torch. Oh, there's a hole. Cool. Come to Judy. Because I'm going to need to go down pretty far to start collecting gold and silver and all that. And then diamond gear without... Um, please go away. You know, that's at least a benefit with the ghosts, is that if you can knock them back, they go a mile. Hey, some coal. Nice. We need some more of that. Also, apparently we're still above ground. Interesting. Okay. I'm down for it. Hey, the Gamma. Welcome, welcome. And Happy New Year to you. Hopefully you didn't get absolutely wasted yesterday, but if you did, hopefully it was at least fun. I mean, it's New Year's. Isn't the entire tradition of most humans just to get absolutely shit-faced drunk and just enjoy the night? Waiting for a sparkly little ball to drop on a stick? Let's just put this here for safety's sake. Do -do -do. Let's see here. He drank too much hot cocoa, thought it was up till 3 optimizing redstone circuits. That would explain the one hour of sleep that you actually got last time. But, I mean, not inherently a bad thing. It's nice to get just redstone going in a village in the first place. There we go. Much better. One thing I do kinda wish Starbound had is just placeable ropes. The only way you have ropes is just with, like, a temporary grappling hook kind of situation. Whoops. Almost screwed myself on those. How about no? But 
having like a placeable rope is just helpful. Alright, they're just invincible. They're rude. Go oh, away. Cool. Ooh, copper. Give me that. Much better. I guess then, since I should be able to pop onto that server that you're working on with the Tanuki Village and all, what kind of redstone builds do you actually need to get going for the f villager farm right now? Just like simple builds to optimize their jobs, or just redstone in general to make the town itself fun? I, I like Terraria's stuff. Ropes and grappling hooks were a great combo of mechanics. They definitely were. Starbound, or sorry, Terraria is another one I was tempted to play on stream at some point, just because I do like it. Just, I would want to mod it just because as I like, I have played a lot of it. Oh, hey, a little house. Okay, I didn't need that. But little house means boxes. Anything good in here? Not really. Oh, well. Much better. Should get back into Minecraft. So I don't really have anyone to play with, though. That is kind of the issue. Yeah. Minecraft as a whole is kind of just hard to get into if you don't have other people to play it with. I've got tomatoes on hand. I've got a singular tomato on hand. Okay. Well, I mean, may as well just eat that before it goes bad. Let's see here. Torch. These platforms are also not wide enough for my spider butt, so I'm just going to do that. There we go. And just extend that out a little bit. Hmm, you're a big boy. But I have a gun. Nope. Whoops. Haha! -ha. Can't get me yet. Although not having a gun is a bit of a problem. Cool. Let's be safe about this. Do, do. Try not to just get absolutely blasted off this. And try not to leave it room to jump up. There we go. Oh, it left already? Wow. He did not pursue us for very long. Ooh, that's a lot of copper. It's also a lot of death. Oh, hey, more boxes. Sweet. Good stuff. Throwing spears aren't that great. Money is okay. Oh. Should grab the copper, though, and this tungsten. So we'll need tungsten stuff later. Let's see. I just don't really want to start yet another world on my own. <laughs> and the last time I was in a server, my entire base was blown up. Yeah, that's why you try not... You try to get on grief-free servers, or just servers with people that you know. Mainly because of the fact that griefing gets annoying, in all honesty. It's not like it helps much. Oh, I almost missed the iron there. That would have been bad. I need plenty of iron, too, to actually get things going. Let's see. Is that more there? That is really hard to see on the background, but okay. Oh, come on. It's leaves. Come on. They're not that hard to mine. Alright, that works. Oh, that's gravel. Noted. Let's see here. It's a big old passageway with some copper. What's over this way? Oh, the enemy. Oh, this does nothing. That also was just a whiff. Okay, that's better. Ow. Well, I thought it would be a nice server, but someone just decided they didn't like me for some reason. Eh, some people are just kind of assholes, so... Sometimes it's impossible to avoid, but... If you can at least get on a server where people you know would get punished for doing something like that, then that's usually a little bit better. There we go. I believe that's more silver? Nice. I do wish I could find the mine shaft on this planet, though. It tends to make digging a little bit easier. But I think 
Oh yeah, I kind of just glossed over the topic. That's just tungsten. Okay. But I wouldn't mind getting into Terraria again, but I'm going to look into possibly modding it for races' sake. Because I'm curious if you can actually have alternate races in Terraria nowadays. Oh, missed a bit. Hello. So, do I have enough materials to make torches? I do. Probably should make about 20. Just to get us started. Anything is possible with mods? Yeah, that is true. Anything is at least possible with mods. And more so just becomes a problem when mods don't like working with each other. I haven't played it since the mod manager became standard. <laughs> and that's also part of the reason I wanted to get into it, because I also haven't really played it since the mod manager was normal. I guess this is our basic way down without digging through everything. That's something I gotta worry about? No. Cool. Because I think last I played was when the Moon Lord was released. And that's about it. So not since the last couple of updates. And I do believe the Halloween and Christmas waves were a thing that you could do. The summonable raid things. I haven't played it since it was basically just 2D Minecraft. It's not quite 2D Minecraft. Admittedly, Terraria does have a bit more nuance to it than that. But I can definitely understand the claim. A lot of people thought that it was just 2D Minecraft, but it's definitely not. <laughs> and hey there, Noir. Welcome, welcome. Now it's not anymore, but it was a lot simpler back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, it was a little bit simpler. Well, there we go. Let's just get ourselves down here. Ooh. Is that a mushroom? I don't think I get to see that too often. Oh, it's squishy. Yeah, it's just mushroom. I don't think I've actually seen the mushroom biome in this game before. You don't cross it very often, but... Considering there's lights down there, that doesn't mean that there's something this way. So why don't we just dig into this gigantic mushroom? I'm sure nothing bad will happen by digging away this fungi. Maybe we'll find a fungi in the fungi. It'll very much depend. Let's see here. Torch. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. Okay. Let's just dig through the mush. It's a lot easier to dig through than the stone. There we go. Oh. Really? Can't just stick? Okay. Cool. Now let's see here. Anything else past the mush? Small enough landings. So that's safe, at least. Whop. Ooh, more tungsten. And I'm assuming those are just regular mushroom blocks, right? Yeah, just mushrooms. Good place to collect those. Cool. And we can make it up there, but it's just nice to have a platform backup just in case. Including here. So you can go across. So you can catch my fat... Oh god. Okay, hi. You can go through walls. I don't like that very much. Oh, that's not good. They've got a much better angle on me than I've got on them. There we go. Goodbye, little ice monsters. Anyways, we weren't quite done over here yet. Yank. Much better. Hey, look at that. I love finding these things. There's usually a little bit of extra gear in them, if you're lucky. Or those. Ladder manipulators are also helpful. May as well steal the chest while we're here. We're plunderers, after all. Let's see. That. That should be enough for us to get back up. Get rid of you. <laughs> Much better. Let's just see what else we can find. Nice. Bit more coal. 
That's actually going to be helpful. Although I think we're getting close to the gold layer, so let's just keep an eye out for that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Also, one thing I did install alongside all of the other mods that I found recently is that a lot of people like making the races just cuter for some reason, which I don't fully get. Like, don't get me wrong, that does look a lot better than originally. But I'm not sure what the fascination is. We'll also be able to find a better hat later, but I just need the armor for now. Let's see... Platform. You can save us, please, and thank you. That works. Up. Then we've got... Oh, right. Spear. Let's see. How can I reach that? Like that. Cool. <laughs> really, the only problem is, until you actually can upgrade your mana manipulator, it's not the fastest thing to dig with. But we'll, we'll get there, eventually. Actually, how many do I have? I only have four. I don't think that actually helps us. Yeah, because we need eight to actually make it stronger. But we can grab the liquid upgrade. So when we need to grab oil and water and such, that's always a possibility. But it's good to save up for the power, just because you're going to be digging with this thing a lot. Let's see. Here... Oh, that's a big old fall. That's a bit of a problem. Do, do, do. Torch. And that can go right on top of the torch, which isn't really smart, but good enough. Much better. That's a bit safer. Now let's just see what's around here. That's... Not something you put a torch on. Also, that would have been bad if I landed on that. Nope. Nope. Hey, buddy. Little ice sprites are definitely cute, but not your biggest friend. Not in this game, at the very least. Here we go. Bit more copper. I'm sure we'll need that for something later. And at least one of the benefits with this is while we are a little bit slow going near the initial section, this is mostly just to set it up so we can come back down here quicker once we have a bit more gear and a bit more food. And I'm assuming a elevator kind of situation would at least be decent for this, but sometimes it's just nice to explore the caves. Usually speaking, the minerals are just on the edges of caves nowadays, so it makes it a little bit easier. Let's see torch. Ooh. That's safe enough. That is not safe enough, though. Easy enough to dig out, though, so worth trying. Yeah, how is the new year treating everyone so far? I know on my end, at the very least, it's been oddly foggy today. I think mainly because of how warm it's actually been. But fog has definitely been a problem. Makes me worry that Silent Hill will happen. And maybe the fact that Silent Hills got cancelled only means he's going to turn the world into Silent Hills. But that might be a problem for another day. Or that's just something going haywire and making me think really weird things at night. Oh dear, where are we? Hmm. None of that is particularly useful right now. Bop. Ooh, fireflies. It'll be fine until you see fog indoors. That is true. We'll have to keep an eye out for that then. Bop. Get you, because it's always good to get a ton of silver early on. Oops. Oh boy. Are there minerals I'm missing? Doesn't seem like it. That's fine, though. There we 
There we go. Sorry about that. Just had to double check something. Sounded like someone was being a little bit loud. Ooh. Oh, cool. We found someone's house this far underground. And there's actually someone living there. Huh. That's a bit weird. As long as I don't get too distracted going this way, we'll go over there, but... Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Doesn't look like there's much over here, so I'll need to dig a bit anyways. But here... Oh, Ice Sprite. Hello. Please go away. Nice. <laughs> and a lot of fireflies here, too. Always very pretty in caves. But, oh. Get your spider booty through there. Got a lot of coal, a lot of copper, and a big old hole. Let's go visit the random flower that's living underground, even though that makes no logical sense for them as a species. Now, how do I get to it? Right there. Then, probably don't want to dig out their ceiling. Ow. Hello. Oh, is that a pet? I think that's a pet. Oh god, it's not. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was a friend. I guess not. Let's just rob her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Plus, I mean, this is an RPG technically, right? You always just need to go into everybody's houses to see what you can find for yourself. And our ongoing space adventures. Oh, hello. Well then, that was a good thing to check. Uh, I need to invade her basement. One second. How does she even get to it, though? It's just down there. There's not a hatch or anything. Oh well. Mine for the taking. Let's see if she does actually have a spear. There we go. Ornate wood. Really, you just got the fancy wood for your flooring in your basement. That's a little much. Nope, just some more tungsten. And a tech card. Tech cards aren't awful. But thank you, ma'am. Always nice to visit and to steal things from underground dwellers. Nope. Right, those things. You can go away. Ooh, nice. More storage. There's just a... Oh, there's a fish down here too. Uh, you can go away. Nope. I think they're just going to die if I'm not careful. Yeah, just stop trying to die to that, please. Much better. The residents underground are not exactly well... <laughs> they're not protected. Let's just put it that way. Ooh, cool. Another module upgrade. Just gonna do that. Let's see. Bombs. Bombs are helpful. And more salves. Cool. And then one more up here. With more salves. Cool. And a lovely pot. For more money. Now, I think that's all we need to do to rob her. Doesn't seem like she's got a basement at all. Although she does have some silver down here. Or tungsten. No, that was just random stone. Cool. Oh, wait, gold. Almost missed that. We need to start collecting gold, just so that way we can actually get better armor. Because we'll need, I believe, silver and gold for the next Arachne armor set. If I remember correctly. And that's kind of what we'll want to aim for, for the next batch of missions. And we'll need plenty of gold goal? Gold for the last move, which is just kind of curling yourself into a Samus ball. Which definitely took no inspirations from Metroid whatsoever. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Give me that. Need all the gold we can get. As well as all of the silver, but I believe that is just regular stone. 
Yeah, regular stone and mud is weird because it looks like iron ore almost. Let's see. Torch. Oh, that's one of those things. Those aren't fun. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's also bad. There we go. Now, nine times out of ten, these things are bad. Case in point. That was at least free mining, but... Ooh, cool. It actually let us know about a lot of gold in the area, too. Even better. Let's see here. Anything else good? Don't really need to care as much about the fossils at all. Nothing really requires you to have bones in any sense of the word. But as long as you have enough bones inside of you, that's fine. Let's see here. Oh, hey, someone else's house. And then a lot of silver, actually, so I'm down for it. Actually doing a lot better on this run than I have on my independent character, or at least the testing character. I still don't actually have a secondary armor set for them yet. I've just gotten lucky and gotten decent looking gear. But here's another home to invade. Which looks like it actually has two residents that time. So let's just see what they're doing. Hello. Oh, they're also being invaded by a light fixture. Oh, that's not a person, that's just a... Goodbye. I like them, but they tend to hurt. Ooh, a spear. Let's see, rocket spear. Is that better than that? It's not, really, but... New spear, nonetheless. I'm glad the game is giving me the weapon I actually like to use. Because I know there's a lot... There's about six different weapon types, I think. At least in terms of the melee ones. But I do kind of just like the spear the most. It's nice to just poke things from afar. Because when in doubt, reach is just important. Don't quite recall if that extends to halo reach, but I could be wrong there. And give me all of that tungsten, please, and thank you. Cool. Let's see here. More tungsten... Feels like we should be getting up to someone's house soon. Or a storage container. That works too. Then another one of those. There we go. And why don't you just come up here? Much better. Alright, well, stealing from this. Money, good. Throwing daggers, not as good, but helpful. Should you really... Should realistically use those. I don't really have a good option. Mainly because I don't know how this secondary tab works. But it would be nice so that way I can just have a lot of throwing stuff there. But what's the... No? Oh, that actually just shows everything that's interactable. That's good to know. But what is the button prompt for that, I wonder? Is that actually a thing? Toolbar? It's X? Okay. So there is a quick way of doing it. I guess that means I could just put all my construction stuff on the second tab. Also, please go away. Just so that way I don't have to keep flipping back and forth between absolutely everything. Hmm. Oh, there's some house. Hello. Or at least a couple extra boxes. It's more healing. That's what's important here. Hmm. Something up here? There is. Hello. You kept something in your attic. That's quite rude. How am I supposed to steal it if I need to dig through your home to actually get access to your things? Ooh. I think there's something important in there. I just need to actually get into that little block. Ugh. Come on, get your spider booty up there. I really just need to build my own thing. There we go. 
Now we can get in there. Let's see. Energy 1 augment. That boosts your total energy a little. Equip that with a right click. Hmm. Install them to an enviro protection pack with a right click. Okay. So that must be a back piece you get later. And that's just an augment to have more energy. So that's cool. And how's our food looking? Getting a little low. That's okay. We'll still be good for a little bit. Oops. Although we probably should head back soon-ish, just so that we don't get super lost. Hello. Oh, that's bad. Never mind, we're good. Especially considering right now all we're doing is realistically home invasion. We're not really getting all the gold that we need. Hello, random fish. Let's grab all that. Much better. Hello, random fish who's living underground. A little bit more sense for you than the plants, but still a bit of a concern. Oh, cool, you're leaving. That makes stealing all your stuff easier. It doesn't look like you got anything there, so... Ooh, a sword. Shade Co. Not quite wrong Co, but it's close. More of those. Now let's see here. Get all of that. I'm just going to take all of your things because you definitely don't care about it at all. Well, then more salve. That's really it. Yeah, and not even anything in your roof. Rude. Should leave things for adventurers to try and steal. Oh. Oh, right. Forgot about those for a second. Ow. Okay, fine. Give me that iron as well. Always need iron for, like, every single build. Much better. How are we looking on resources? It's this one. Only 14 gold. Good amount of silver, though. Hmm. Definitely doing better on tungsten. Yeah, we have not found a ton of gold yet, but... Making strides to at least get down far enough to grab it. Or steal it from other people. More hunting spears, more copper, more hunting spears. Hey. Consistency is not the name of the game right now. Oh. Much better. Hey there, Sky. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> no spoilers here for now. And hopefully you slept well. We're just doing some starbound goodness. Which, we're trying to find gold. Not exactly having the best of times at the moment, but... I mean, what can you do? This is a adventuring mining game. Can't always get super lucky. But, let's see what we can do at the very least. I believe we're good. Oh no, a little bit. Much better. Yeah, Happy New Year. Hopefully you slept well. That's just fossils. We don't need that. That is someone's house, though. Let's see. Oh, right. Gotta be really careful with those. Then just craft all those. <laughs> Let's just take it nice and simple. I upgraded to Winds 11 overnight and didn't brick my PC, so I'm good. That's definitely a good sign, Sky. Definitely a good sign. I know the Windows 11 update can be a little bit awkward of an idea. Oh. You know, that probably would be good for the house, now that I'm thinking on it. I'll have to place one of those at the house next time we're up there, just to see if that's how it works. There we go. More tungsten. Then there's a couple people's houses over here. So, you. I don't believe I've stolen everything in your home yet. 
But it's a fairly basic home, so you really don't have anything other than tungsten. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, there's a little bit of gold. Just got to insult them. That's how you get the big brain plays out. Oh. Get that down. Yeah, there's gold right there. I'll need... To, oh. Guy just ran at me. Okay. Don't get too aggressive there, little buddy. Not quite ready for everything just yet. Hmm. I'll have to remember alt. That's actually a lot more helpful of a command to have. Let's see. Here. Those I don't care about as much, because they tend to make life harder on you. And then that's iron, which we do need... But getting lower would be helpful, just so that way we can find gold a bit easier. I guess this is technically a down way, so sure. Get a torch. Hey, there's some gold. But we do need to be safe, so... You can go right there. Much better. That's not quite what I want. That's better. Oh. And this is why you're careful when coming down. Let's see. Can we do that? We can. Thankfully, it's fine with that. And then you just go away, which makes life easier on me. Oh, one of those angry snails. Oh, those snails are annoying. Hey, there's some gold. Gimme. And I'll probably grab the coal, too. We'll need to make torches somewhere along the line. But I think we're out of wood now. I think that's the main thing that's stopping us. A lot of tungsten. And, uh-oh. We got fog indoor solace. I think Silent Hills is starting. Or I guess we've got fog underground, but... I'm not sure if fog underground is as natural. I guess I'll keep a lookout for Pyramid Head. I do at least have a spear, so we can fight on equal grounds. Kind of. You know, he's an Eldritch Abomination zombie. I'm a spider. It's not me. I'm not making toast. Uh-oh. We might be SOL then. I'll keep an eye out. Hopefully we don't have to worry about Pyramid Head or any other manifest manifestation of our inner demons. I know how to talk. Oh. There we go. Get on to you. Uh-oh. Hey, it's the angry snail. Hey, buddy. I don't like you very much. Although, at least he doesn't have a crap ton of health. Although, I don't think he can jump, so... I think we can just do that. And just kind of stab him. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, that's just a box. Okay. thought that was one of the actual special crates. How are you not weak to electricity? Please go away, snail. Cool. Those snails can get unnecessarily dangerous if you leave them alone. Nope. Oh. That... That's just a random barrel. I'm not really sure... Oh, God. That could have been worse. Well, we're safe, though. Get you. Then I think that's... Uh, that was just nothing, I guess. The Silk Strand is a natural thing. Oh, this is where the fog all is. So hopefully this isn't flammable. That is definitely the biggest concern. Let's see. How's our health doing? We can heal. Hmm. Any quicker way I can dig in through here? Because I'd like to avoid Pyramid Head if at all possible. I don't exactly want to stay in his domain the entire time. Though so you want me to stay in here. Let's just look for another pathway. See if there's anything else. Oh. Good thing I went back. Good amount of silver. A little bit of gold. We'll get enough gold eventually. Oh. Speaking of, 
Much better. Don't quite remember how much gold we fully need to get up to, but definitely needs to be a pretty high amount. Go to here. Let's see. That's just stone and mud. That's not really needed for anything in particular. Ow. That was unnecessary. Let's see. Might be see how good we are. Because I don't exactly have what I need to make in a crafting table down here. And we are a good ways out. So maybe we can just collect things that we haven't had. Or some things that we would have missed. Oh, there's another snail there. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, how are you doing? When it comes down to it, the easiest way to kill a snail is to poke it to death, right? Even though this is clearly just an exploit of this game's physics system, but... I mean, it's a valid way to kill an enemy. His health is at least going down. Slowly, mind you. But I think that's mostly just because of his resistance to electricity. Little bit more. There we go. And... Oh. Much better. <laughs> stop hitting yourself. Exactly. They just gotta learn. Just stop hitting yourself. Oh. Well, I broke something with that. Don't fully know what. Oh. Angry poison friend. Ooh, nice. Can charge them. Oh. Forgot that you actually just come back occasionally. There we go. Now we can be greedy. Oh yeah. Also, you can be wet. Oh. New house. New box. New solve. Better than nothing. And you. Which is just bomb city. Sure. We'll take that. Did kind of destroy everything that was there, unfortunately, but... Pop. Alright, well, let's just see how bad this is. Now, I'm going to assume I can't connect to the platform. Oh, hey, a house. Oh, well, a derelict house, but a house nonetheless. Let's see. Put that there. And just more salve. A lot of these houses have been really disappointing. Mm. Hi, snail. Ooh, is that a diamond? You don't get to see those super often, but those are definitely needed. Please stop, Mr. Snail. Much better. But now we definitely need to get out of here, because diamonds do not come across very often. And you do need those for a few things in the later game. Eventually, you'll find planets that are just absolutely stuffed with diamonds, but... Hmm. Little bit more gold. Just good. Nope. That's not a way out. Hmm. That and we need wood, too. So I'm probably going to need to go upstairs and grab... Not that. I'll need to, like, plant trees and be a good environmentalist in this world. Hmm. One more house. That should probably cover us. So all it is is salve. It's always just salve and an oil drum, which is not helpful to us. Oh. Hi, random enemy. Goodbye, random enemy. Oh, never mind. Well, much better. Okay. Before we get too lost, and before we run out of too much food, let's just keep going. Because technically speaking, you can hunt underground with a bow, but not quite as likely as most of the underground enemies drop other things. There we go. Okay, we don't need that. Cool. 
little bit more silver to work with, which I am totally down for. Now let's just see if we can follow our torch trail back. There we go. Much better. You, sir, are an annoyance. Thankfully, you're also weak to electricity. And that's just on top of there. Okay. That's fine. We will go that way. It's not going to be this way, but it's still a way up. Just in case there's anything interesting. Like that. Yeah, we need to go around to get to that. That's fine. Oh. Please don't die by fall damage, Jude. That is the worst way to die in this game. There we go. Let's see, now how do I get around to that? Nope. Oh. House there, which I'm pretty sure I've infiltrated already, or acquired for the resistance. We can also do it that way. There we go. I don't recall this being the way, but this connects back up to where we need to go. So, easier way to get back up. Much better. Well, cool. This just lets us sidestep a few of the steps needed to get back. Hello, fish lady. I'm pretty sure if I remember the fish race correctly, those are ladies. Bit more gold. Nice. Gold are a spider's best friend. That much is true. Yoink. Then all of you are not a concern. No, don't care about you, sir. And not up. Yeah, okay. I'm remembering where we are. Had to invade that lady's basement. Nope. Nope. That's a nope, sir. Thank you. I believe we went up from here. Yeah. Because now we got the Frosty Boys again. You can just go back into the ground. Where you belong. Much better. Then we've got this easy way back up. Through the mush. Oh, this way. Because we'll need to get food, we'll need to get wood, and we'll need to just prep for anything. There we go. And now we're getting pretty close. Nope. Nope. Ow. Still not close to dead yet, but... Hello, random thing. Are you weak to electricity? Apparently. Lovely. Nope. Really? I didn't leave myself enough room for that. Thankfully, I have enough still, but... Do, 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 do. Let's just make 30, because we'll need a lot of these platforms, and admittedly, they tend to go pretty fast anyways. There we go. Make a safe platform here. We won't worry about the frog for now, because those are just pets. And this is all naturally made, so we're pretty close to home. There we go. And I think it's daytime, actually. Yeah, the birds are singing. And get rid of you, because you're ugly. Um, let's see here. Hmm. What was our pathway up? I think over here. Get rid of you. And I think the spear does more than enough knockback to kind of just say no to ghosts. No, not that one, though. Hello. Get rid of you, sir. There we go. Here's our house. Now, I believe we just... So why don't we just do that? Okay, good. That is how that works. Oh. Nope, turn that back on. 
So we'll just put the flag inside here. I think that's allowed. Spider home one. Accept. Cool. Now we just got free reign over that. And then how much gold do we have? We've actually got a lot of gold. We make 23. That might be enough to get us the armor set as well as the upgrade. <laughs> hey there, Jasper. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully sleep at least treated you alright last night. Don't care about that as much. Give me plenty of silver, please and thank you. Yeah, I mean, sleep is always a possibility at the very least. Give us plenty of tungsten. Actually been down there for a lot longer than I figured. I've been awake. Oh no, Jasper. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hopefully you can get some sleep soon then. Up. Oh. There we go. That should be able to get us a good chunk. Where's our anvil? Does that require 6, 12, 18? So that won't quite let us get... Is that the spider-specific armor? That is the spider-specific armor. That helmet looks dumb, though. I wouldn't think the spiders would be Romans, but... Definitely good for us. Tungsten axe, which is not needed. And there's the web machete. The whip might be, though. I would lie to you and tell you I'd try, but we all know I have self-destructive tendencies. That is true. One of these days, I'll just have to wrap you up in a blanket and kind of just force it on you. Ooh. Aren't the hammers... No, the hammers are swing, though. So I don't like the hammers as much. Like, you have to charge hammers, which is kind of a problem with them. Let's see here. We won't have enough for the ball, but we will at least have enough for... Crap, I need leather. Whoops, I forgot about the leather requirement. Either way, more armor. Put that on here. That looks quite bad. Can I just put that on? Yeah. Do I have any chests in here? I don't have chests in here. That's a shame. What about you? Can I make a chest? I can make a chest. Holds 24, holds 16. Hmm. Oh, not that. Actually, did I steal any of those chests from underground? That would have been smart if I did. Hey, I did steal one. That's a little bit easier. Let's just put that right there. And let's store some of this useless crap. Including the punchy glove. Since you can only punch forward. Not the greatest. Now there's most of this, to be honest with you. So I'll have to see about potentially selling it. Oh yeah, the bow. Do I not have a... I don't have a foraging thing here. I need wood for that. I do need that, as well as the spinning wheel down here. So I think the loom does the same thing, but never hurts to have both. You. Much better. And then we gotta be on tree duty, so... Plant a couple of these around, then we'll just chop down the rest of the forest elsewhere when we get the opportunity to. As well as try and avoid ghosts where possible. Oy, y'all are just aggressive. In case you're curious, I'm almost done with base 3.0. Always good to see. Or always good to hear, rather. There we go. I know that Heaven's Word isn't too bad to get through. But it is... Alright, I need wood for the foraging table. That's why I needed to go out. No trees. Please give me your sustenance. Much better. 
That gives me 10, or 18 rather. I can't read the text in this game as well. But you can go down, because I don't think you attack me. Then we'll just get you down and we're good. Oh, Nick. Whew. Cool. That's enough wood for a foraging table. Now let's see here. Table needs to be made off of you. Oh, I need timber for it too. Uh, okay. Ten. Much better. Give me this, please. Had enough to make it on the spaceship, but not enough to make it here. Cool. Alright then. So, one change I'm going to make. You can come downstairs. You can stay up here. Let's see here. I need oil and string. Ugh. That's kind of annoying, actually. You can't buy oil outright. You do have to find it. And nothing on this planet actually has oil on it. Oh, there's a fishing rod. You need titanium for your fishing. Hmm. Technically speaking, that's a naked sprite, but it's not really showing much, so it should be fine. But good to heal up. And then... May as well check the web loom. Do you give me any better, like, visual gear that I can have as cosmetics? I don't think you do. No, you really don't. You just give me all of the late game armors and such. That's fine. I'll get to those eventually. And let's see here. A silky normal bed. This is probably going to get rid of our butt if we try to actually sleep on it, which is kind of needed. Hmm. Not much we can make, either. Really not doing that well off. In terms of just options. The whip might be interesting. It's not very strong, though. Warp Weaver. Good weapon. Late game weapon, though. Let's just see. Really nothing we can make right now. That is not good. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. I'm just looking through the crafting table at the moment, anyhow. There we go. Let's see. Not much, really. I think our best option is just trying to get food going. As well as grabbing leather. So, where's that bow at? Oh, thank you for the sip, Jasper. Ah, much better. So now we hunt for leather, which might be off of those guys. Meat? Meat isn't bad. Birds aren't bad, but I think you drop poultry most of the time anyways. Oh, don't swoop down on me like that. Oops. And ghost. There we go. Bit of poultry, not bad. Then you, sir. You just don't like physical stuff. That's fine. Suck a dick. Much better. I'm not actually trying to farm ghosts for their stuff anyways. Oh. At least I'm not trying to. Oh. I would have laughed if that actually blind fired right into there now. I have no idea where the hell he would have gotten to. There we go. And one more. Oh. There we go. And then... Energy boy. You're just gonna get stuck. Okay. 
That works for me. Nope. You're big. You might actually drop leather. Can I actually just place arrows down? And they actually just run into them? Wow, they do. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Oh. There's actually just a house to my right that I haven't looted yet. Whoops. And have I been dropping frames? I have dropped a couple, actually, haven't I? Oh, a thousand. Yeah, okay. So there might be a little bit of a lag spike that occurred, so it wouldn't hurt to refresh, given the opportunity. Give me all that. And anything in your house I can steal while you're asleep? Or anything else in your house I can steal while you're asleep? Guessing that's a no. Goodbye. Ooh, something's poisoned. That's also a Hellfire ghost? Why are there so many ghosts on this planet? Is this a burial ground for something that I should be worried about? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I got something at least. Good old Rafflesia. Don't care about you as much. And I probably should be grabbing wood, shouldn't I? Because we're dangerously low on that. We also need to find a Florin planet. I don't think this planet actually counts enough as a Florin, but... Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye out. There we go. Gonna have quite a lot of trees falling over here. It'd be nice if this actually had a actual kill effect on mobs, but that might get a little bit silly if you're trying to plan dropping a tree on an enemy just in hopes that it goes down easier. But yeah, that's a lot of wood. Always good to make sure you're managing your wood supply. Hmm. I'm also getting a little bit hungry. I'll have to snack on something soon. Thankfully, with being above ground, we're at least a little bit better off for grabbing food from the station, but... We just need to be careful about that, because we're only going to get so much pixels before it becomes a problem. There you go. Hmm. This looks like something I haven't been to yet. I have not been here at all. Why do I keep missing so much stuff? And just randomly a pineapple is growing in that dude's house. That's concerning. How do you react if there's just a pineapple growing in your home? Hmm. Well, I guess we won't know for a bit. Oh, never mind. There's Florin home here. Hello. No, I didn't want to shop with you. I wanted to steal your stuff. That's that. That's a bongo. That's fine. Let's see. Observe everything while you're here. Ooh. Hello, statue. Then lots of side quests, which are always good. They can get you mana manipulators and stuff like that. So if you do see them, it is important. Nothing in there. Oh, you're just mean. Ooh. I do like their beds, though. Those are nice. And the monument, too, which I'm assuming I've scanned in the past. Oh, no, I haven't. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just investigating your culture. Really nothing? That's just rude. Nope. Much better. Let's see. Cages are good to check, just in case they capture anybody. We've got so many side quests here. Oh, boy. That's just a random bucket, but... 
Let's just grab the quests. We should be okay to do them. Food. Actually getting a little low on some things. I'll need to be careful. Look, a chest. Oh, look, a really bad sword. Well, not an awful sword. <gasps> Just not one we can realistically use at the moment. Sure, we'll take that. Grab another Merc to come along with us. Let's see, what else can we investigate while we're here? And or what else can we steal while we're here? Oops. Jesus, that's a lot of side quests. Oh, right, the long one. I'll just get rid of that. Those ones take a long time. And I also don't feel like collecting bones. Now here, there should be a little bit. Really nothing here counts? That's dumb. Some of that should count. Nothing. Random poem. Which we may as well grab for the codex, but we don't need to worry about it going forward. Much better. Now, anything else, or is this just the edge? No, it's not. We can keep going. Cool. I'd like to investigate more of your home if I can. One coral creep and a pineapple? No, thank you. That's just killing people. That is fine. That is throwing knives, tungsten, and torches. That is all good. Shield and a spear. I do wonder if we're close. Admittedly, the side quest kind of ate that. Trek. Okay, we're still getting there. Let's see. Gate, door. Nothing specific to grab, but... Hey, more stuff to loot. Even better. A back spear. Just a decoration item, but would be helpful considering we're basically just using spears all the time. Give me all of that, please, and thank you. We need all the help we can get. It's too bad none of these guys just have oil lying about, though. Give me more incentive to actually get the... Sure. There's gonna be so many mobs, and we've got so many mercs. Hey there, fish. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the day's been treating you well so far, friend. Okay, we've gotten enough now. Cool. Don't have to worry about investigating anything further. Now it's just doing a miscellaneous side quests and stealing everybody's stuff. Oh, yeah, and Happy New Year as well, fish, because I haven't really seen you since last year. There we go. Let's see, that should be the edge of the village, so... Let's see if we can hunt some more leather. Also that. Oh, you. Yep, you're a big boy. Noted. <laughs> Although you're down there now, so not as big a problem. Let's see, we don't need any more tungsten for the moment. Oh, you're not going to drop leather. Oh, Jesus. You do a lot more damage than I figured. I guess you are kind of the... Why don't you attack them? Oh, I was about to say... Heal. Would rather not die to... The side... The boss's minions. I guess it is dead. Cool. Oh, I kind of offed a lot of flowers accidentally by doing that. Whoopsie daisy. And this is a lot of plant fiber in here in general. It's not even trees, it's just gigantic stalks of flowers. Okay. There we go. Goodbye, little guys. You will not be missed. Ooh, a random flower chest with a banana mask. <laughs> oh, that looks bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm not wearing that. Giant flower door. But this is why it's good to just double check your surroundings, because sometimes the chests can just be everywhere. Let's see. Oh, that's a bird. And 
and if you can drop leather, that'd be cool, but yeah, you're a bird. Not exactly going to drop leather if you're a bird. You might be able to drop leather, though. Oh, you're not dead. Oh. Hey, there we go. And up. I believe I need five for the additional piece of armor that we were going for. Hey, buddy. Wow, you did not even try. Come on. It's not that hard to get at me. That's meat. Not quite as good. We'll help later, just that way we don't have to buy as much food, but... There we go. Oh, that's a death pit. Okay, noted. Can I... Okay, cool. That makes life a little bit easier. Although I did kind of just kill, I think, a snail there. That was a bit of a whoops. Probably should heal. But first, let's see if we can get some leather. That is meat. That is not leather. Then this is just a lot of plants, isn't it? Yeah. Don't have to worry about too much of the plants. Although it's looking like there's no oil on this world either, so that's a bit of a bummer. Be nice to get the tungsten bow if we can. You guys also are not going to help very much when it comes to hunting stuff. Oh, speaking of bananas. Hello. Should I just set up a banana plant by that house? Give me that. Hey, cool, we got two banana seeds off that. Let's see... Now we are a little bit worse for wear since it's night. Also the fact that we've kind of hit an impasse. There we go. Oh, that's a no. Get rid of the ghosts. Said get rid of the ghosts. Nope. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Sadly, we're not getting leather from a ghost. As funny as that would be, that's just a no. Hey, there we go. How much leather am I at now? Hey, cool, we're at five. So as long as I can make it home, then we're good. Which, considering how far along we've gone, I think we're actually close, because I think this is where you initially spawn. So as long as... whoops... Well, that was a mistake. Oh, and the... Oh. Gotta remember that you can click out of this game, and that just causes all sorts of problems. Oh. Oh, dear. Come on, game. You can hold up. Oh. Go away, ghost. I wonder if that's just the AI getting stuck. Because I'm noticing they haven't really teleported back to me in a while. And more ghosts. You really do not just want to leave me alone, do you? Nope. Goodbye, Mr. Ghost. Hello, random campfire. Why don't we just cook some of the meat? And we'll eat that. Food, poultry, poultry. Nice Thanksgiving dinner, thanks to our local wildlife. And tech card, cool. I'll take that. Oh, hi ghosties. Get rid of you. Those ghosts will probably leave us alone. This looks bad, so... Oh, that's extra bad. Oh, but he just dropped off like a dolt, so that's fine. But this is definitely not my home. Might be close, though. Oh. Hello, sir. 
Please go away. Oh. You're really just everywhere, aren't you? And we're definitely back home. Okay. Oh, actually, isn't this where the side quest to take place? It is. That's going to be a potential problem. Okay, nope. Instantly dying. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, these guys hurt. So if they can shoot you, it's usually bad. Okay, this is why you normally get NPCs to help you. Okay, one down. Also, I think there's like three different gangs at the same time, which is not helping. Gotta do this mechanically smart. There we go. Ooh, a secret note. Cool. Well, there's that problem solved. Admittedly, independently, but problem solved. Now, there should be people down here. Oops. Hopefully they shouldn't gang up on me 8 to 1 this time. No. Nope. Get away. Money, round decorative skull, and tiny bongos. Tiny bongos are definitely cute. I'll give them that much. Oh. Hello. Oh, wow. Cool. Always nice. Oh, hi there. Thankfully, you're kind of weak enough that I can get away with this, so... Thank you. Then both of you can go away. And really nothing good from these chests, either. Hmm. Oh, hello. Go away. Go away. And... There we go. Then tungsten and molotovs. That could be a bit concerning. Don't forget to loot left at small wooden hut to the west. Um, don't think we need to worry about that. We probably grabbed that already. Let's see. Here's where the people are going to come in. This isn't our greatest concern right now, but... Oh, there we go. We know how to kill people. At least with a spear. And then you look dangerous. Can you jump? Uh, yes. Oh, that's bad. Hello, sir. Can I cheese this and get something off of you? Apparently I can. Lovely. What else you got for us? Random floor and base. And I'm sure someone needs to be saved from. Oh. That was a bat. Come on. There we go. I can hit it. Oh. Oh. It's really hard to see those guys. Oh, you're not dead yet. That works. Nothing in you. That is fine. All of this is fine. And I think you need to go down there for a potential end. Yeah, just more stuff and lots of poison. Uh, that's fine. What do we have that can help us with this? This would be better if this actually had... Good enough to kill. Goodbye. Here we go. You're here. Hello. Ooh. You've actually got... Oh. <laughs> I broke your shield. That's a good sign. May want to get a better shield next time. There we go. Ooh. That's a big mushroom. wonder if I can chop that. You might actually... Oh. 
You might be able to. That might be worth trying. Bop. Much better. Now what do you actually drop? Do you count as wood? No, you just count as mushrooms. And functionally a sapling for said mushrooms. Okay. Oh, there's more. Hello. Are y'all excited to see me? No. Oh. oh, crap. Hey there, non. Hopefully the day has treated you well so far. We're currently just doing a little bit of side quests on the Florin planet. Oh, I'm almost dead, aren't I? Oh, there's a bat, that's why. And I can never friggin' see them. And their hitboxes suck. Nope. Would rather not die to that. <laughs> uh, the bats in this game are absolutely evil. Uh, but how go things, Non? Is the sun being less of a jerk today? Were you able to get the pupper out on a nice New Year's walk? Really nothing in these pods. Oh. Feel it coming? To me, maybe? Nope. Really? You're gonna just aim from there? Okay, nope, that's not good. Okay, the additional fire support is not cool. There we go. Much better. Went to the local coffee shop, but then I forgot it's New Year's and they're closed. Oh, lots well, of shame. You'll have to see if they're open tomorrow, just that way you can support them into the new year. Hi, sir. Or ma'am. Really have not provided me with much of anything. There better be something good in this. Just Molotovs and money. So making some coffee at home like a pleb? I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing to make coffee at home, Non. When in doubt, customization is important on any form of coffee. Let's see. Oh, there was a bat chilling up there. You jerk. I didn't care about getting poultry from you, even as nonsensical as that sounds. Really, nothing. And then a goddamn one-handed axe. Ugh. You're not treating me well, game. Throwing spears and silver, and nothing that good. Tiny bongo. And this is just kind of leading you So, this ain't much to shake a stick at either. I desperately need a gun. Hmm. I really need a better gun. Better way of putting that. Cool. Does that complete all of our side quests by chance? Let's see. Track that? That's to the west. Small overgrown cave to the east. That's also there. Find the friend and then kill those guys. So we did that one. That's fine. Let's just start doing this eastbound stuff. Hopefully we run into our home along the way. Oops. Alright, fine. We'll get our grappling stuff out. No. Or didn't even need it. <laughs> but we should be good. Enemies usually don't respawn back down here. There we go. Let's just get out of here, go back to our house, see if we can make that golden chest plate, and, and continue on with things. Because the benefit of having higher tier armor is also just the fact that... Oh. Oh. Hey, sweet, I actually got something. Higher tier armor does also make your guns and weapons better in the long run. 
but since we've only got the hat and the... Oh, hey, cool, we did get something there. Oh. Well, that kind of worked. Is it snowing? This is a flower planet and it snows? Huh. Well, I mean, I'm down for it. And sadly, this isn't oil. This is just water. Just very, very dirty water. Mainly because the toads live here. But nothing wrong living next to a bunch of toads. Hello, sir. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Let's see. No ghosts, because it's the daytime. That's good. And you're just... Oh, you were stuck, because you were there last time I was here, too. Door? Thank you. Let's just go back to our home real quick. We'll make that last chunk of gold armor, and then we'll kind of just look around and see what we can do. Oops. There we go. You're just plant. You're a useless chest that I already looted. And find a friend. It's weird that I didn't find them before, but they might just be staying at my place by accident. They got lost, so they stayed in someone's house randomly. Oh, you're a tanky. Actually, a much bigger boy than I figured. Let's just get you... Okay. Yeah, you do a lot of damage, too. Hi. Just meat. That's fine. We don't need any... Oh. Why do they exist? It's daytime. Stop existing. Jesus. I guess this is where I knocked them all back to last time. Hi. Please stop existing. Much better. And then, I'm pretty sure I've looted all of these. Yeah. And no one here, just the monkey salesman. With your $22 in your attic. You may want to have a bit more life savings up there, sir. Then you're not a problem. You are a problem. You're not a problem, and I probably shouldn't have attacked you, but that's fine. Let's see. Mend. Go away. Can't dash in the air. That's fine. You can go a mile underground. That makes life easier on myself. And then this should dig through... Oh, ghosts. Hey. Ghost. Lovely. You seem to be stuck, though. Cool. Actually made it back relatively okay. And the bird we don't have to worry about. There we go. Now we can be in full gold armor. Which should give us a pretty decent boost in stats. Yeah, just a casual 200% on all of our weapon stuff now. So that's good. It means our gun should be doing a good chunk more. So what's the next best step? I guess doing the Florin quest, just so that way we can move on to another planet. Technically speaking. But we might explore another planet just to see. So first, campfire please. That'd be good to have in the house, just that way we can cook. Let's see. Campfire. Let's cook us some mushrooms. Would be a good thing for Leah too, but... Um, num, all the mush... Oh, that actually gives you bonus health to have mushrooms. That's a weirdly temporary bonus you can have. Let's see here. Anything else we could make before we do anything like that? Not really. Let's just store some stuff. Oh, hold up. I need eight of those. So I'm going to need to find the friend first. So, let's do some of these side quests. What hit me there? Oh, the big boy. Hello. Very big chargey boy. And then you, which is annoying because you just go through walls. 
Really shouldn't be that many enemies that go through walls. Yeah, you're unarmed, I'm aware. I'll help you. Fish lady? What are you? You're a bird. Why are you out here? It's also that one random oh. Well, that's a problem. Please go away, bird. Thank you. Let's see. Um There are so many enemies out here, I swear. And somehow that hasn't died yet, which is very weird. So that's been taking poison damage throughout this entire thing. Oh, there's someone. Hello, go away. I'm assuming you're a friend. Then I think you're okay. Um. Oh, the bird. I was wondering, like, what the hell is making that noise? Oh, there we go. There's a kidnapped person. Here's another friend we needed to save. Ow. Okay, you are aggressive. Good to know. And then... That... Murder. And I've got civilians. Oh, yep. Okay, please die. Please die quickly. <laughs> okay, that's the benefit of having electric damage against mobs at the very least. I had the treather in the wooden cottage to the east. What wooden cottage to the east? So I swear I've looted this already. Yeah. That's fine. Any other side quests we need to worry about while we're out here? Track quest. That's good. Bring them back, and that's good. Cool, that'll get us four done pretty much all in one sitting, so... Let's just carry these two back home. Which is actually kind of easy, because they're right here. Now, where are the friends I need to bring you to? Oh. Well, there was a bird. Didn't last very long. There's one. Hello, I would like my things, please. And then you. Lovely. Now, where are the kill quests? Not here. What about... There we go, there's one. Come over here, give me stuff. And then one more to hand in, because I only took the four. But this will at least get us something useful, hopefully. Hello. I have business with this one. Lovely. Locate Peacekeeper Station in Beta Majoris. What quest is that? Okay, right, for the crime thing. We do not have to work for it for a while. Let's see here. Useless. Coffee seeds, not quite as useless. Uh, a shotgun. I mean, probably better than our pistol. And then iron hunting spears, so all of those were useless. Cool. I'm also nearly dead, so let's just fix that. But, we got a shotgun now. I think that's good. I don't recall the shotguns in this game being awful, but this is kind of a lower tier one, so kind of hard to tell. Nope. Yeah, it's kind of a pellet thing, so good for up close. Not good for anything else. Good for clearing areas, though. Nope. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like there's anything down here. I don't know if the spinny top guy was down there before. Hmm. Oh, speaking of. Hi, spinny top guy. 
Apparently we can just snipe them from here with a shotgun, so that's a good sign. Okay. Figured that was coming. You're actually kind of easy. Hmm. That's a lot more rain. You hath returned. Welcome back, Jasper. You haven't missed a ton. Oh, wait. I don't know. We'll just let our spider booty poke out for a second. Take the free heal. Ow. Much better. At most, you've missed the fact that we got our full golden armor now, so we're pretty tanky at the very least. I don't really like the helmet, though. It looks very out of place. Thanks to the sub to Leah. You're welcome, Nan. Leah deserves the extra support, so if you can provide it, I fully recommend doing so. Because Leah's been doing this for a while now, and... The more support she can get would be helpful. That pants? Yeah, bug pants. I don't need bug pants. I should see if I can sell anything at the Florin place, then just do the Florin quest. So I think I can do it with what I've got right now. <laughs> oh, hi, big spinny guy. Getting a lot of flower petals, too. Not sure if those are going to be useful for anything. Hello, guys. Much better. Now, let's see. Who would be a shopkeep in this town? Because I've got weaponry to sell. Stabbing is fun. Yeah, stabbing can be pretty fun. Any of you actually sell stuff? That's a no. You've got a quest. So I'm not going to bother with that. You're a guard. Bear. You are just sleepy. Really no one here is of help. Because nothing's even explicitly like shown as a shopkeeper in the Florin area. Wop. I. This tribe's green finger. Assuming you're just a leader of some kind. Then you. No. Really nothing with these guys. I guess I can technically just beam up at this rate, because we do have the flag on home now. So we can kind of just port back to there whenever. Yeah, we can just port back to home. That's cool. I'll go back to the outpost, though. No, outpost. Just so that way we can sell off some of the random weaponry that we're not going to bother using. And then maybe we can just... Oh. Not that way. I'm assuming I don't have enough gold to deal with that. No, I need three more. I did not get enough to actually warrant getting that. Okay. What about you? Can I sell stuff to you? Because I need to sell some of this random crap. The back spear. Is that better than the hiker backpack? Not really. Most of the clothing's kind of useless. This armor isn't that useful anymore. The musical instruments just sell for a lot. Bomb, two-handed greatsword isn't that useful right now. Stim packs are fine, that's fine. The really pokey stick we don't need to worry about. That's a decent sword, though. Decent fire sword, too. It kind of just depends on which one we'd want to use. Oh. Also looks nicer. Okay, and it's that. So why don't we just... sell. Get rid of all of this junk. Including the secret notes, in all honesty. Heptite armor. I'll keep that as a just-in-case. But everything else can just go. Might keep that stuff. Keep that. Because if it'll work, 
No, I don't have the helmet, do I? I can't believe I missed out on the helmet. That's fine. I'll keep it for now. Here to that. That's basically what I'm wearing anyway. It's just a non-armored version. Then we'll keep that. We'll keep that. That works. Thank you for all the money. Now let's see. Anything else I can do while I'm in here? Don't think so. I think it's just best to go talk with her and get things started. Oh, actually, as well as store stuff. Let's just store stuff on the ship. We don't exactly need to be carrying around every bit of important gear with us. Like, let's see here. Like most of this stuff, in all honesty. We really don't want to lose our mats when we have the opportunity to. There we go. Just... And then let's cook up our food. You know, just a campfire inside of your spaceship. It's fine. It's not like smoke is a thing that exists. Cook all that up. Make ourselves some popcorn. And a roasted carrot. And then let's just clear out our inventory of all of that cooked food. Specifically with the carrot first, because that's just useless. Rotten food can go away. Meat. I guess the pineapples you can just kind of eat raw, can't you? As nonsensical as it is to just eat a pineapple straight up. Outpost. Alright. Let's go talk with our old researcher friend. We won't need to worry about the ball too much. It's just the floor in quest is a little bit rough. So as long as we're just prepped with bandages and whatnot, we're good. Oh, hi. Why are you here? What? Hi. Hmm. That's a bit janky. So, I guess I slightly broke the game a bit. Because she's not supposed to be here until you do the quest I just picked up. So the fact that I did her on my other file, I guess, just kind of got her here. It's a bit weird. I mean, you don't eat a whole pineapple like an apple. I mean, I try not to. The people at work tend to get a little bit flustered when I try. Find the ar artifact in the hunting grounds. That's weird. I swear we didn't do that before. Oh, well. Up we go. Let's try it out and see. Mission control. Hello. Ceremonial hunting caverns. Find the artifact, though. Ah, yeah, it is that quest. That is so weird. Oh, well. We got a spear and we got a shotgun. Let's see what we can do. What is that note if? Probably Selly. Yeah, this takes a bit to load, so just give it a sec. But that's kind of just what happens with the missions. There we go. Ooh, this looks spooky. Hello. Yeah, I'm sure all of y'all are ready for destruction. But let's go. Definitely a lot of potential death here. Whoops. Oh, yeah, that's water, Jude. Try it again. There's money. But we're not going to worry about money, because we're going to need to worry about our life. Let's see. Buy ratings show life signs in these tunnels. 97% hostile. Yeah. Things here aren't very nice. Oh, the switch. Alright, let's see here. That's a good place to start. Oh, an actually decent non-elemental broadsword. I'll take it. Wasn't quite expecting to get that so early, but... More money. Seeds for things I don't need, and more bandages. Probably should just rearrange that bar. Oh. 
figures. Now I get another manipulator module. If I find another one in here, that might help us out a good bit, but... There. Let's just see what we can do. Because that's obviously bad. Hey, buddy. Yeah, using a shotgun for sniping isn't really smart. That works, though. Oh. Don't need that. I wonder, actually. Can I... I can do that. Does not reach down that far, though. Hello. Oh, there we go. Almost. I think it's just better to do that. There we go. And goodbye. Don't really need to worry about killing them. It's just kind of nice to. Because as long as you can jump, then this part's kind of easy. There's some water. Yeah, see, here she is. You're supposed to meet her here. I have no idea why she's on my outpost already. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I needed to talk with you. But hello, Florin. Please open gate. Let's get going. Feisty Florin. Yeah, she is a little bit feisty. She very much lives for the hunt, and I can't really fault her for that. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, you can jump. Oh, that's poison water. Good to know. So note to self, do not touch green water. That is bad for you. Let's see. You're an annoyance. Hmm. Although you just can jump for days, so... There we go. That makes things a little bit easier. A little bit of plant fiber. Another non-elemental spear, but that does more damage than an even better non-elemental spear. So not good for ghosts, but it does look cool. Kind of looks like a fork. Maybe we'll get some meat. And I do like the blade whirl. So I'm down for it. Okay, that's decent. <laughs> Let's see. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Switch. Ow. And no, no, don't die to that, please. Then if you time it right at the very least, then you can kind of just get them with the big damage, but they're being awfully stubborn. Let's see. Be careful. Oh, I'll be careful. There's just stuff trying to spit, at, you know, poison at me when I'm wearing, you know, our gold armor. I'm sure that'll go through. But welcome, little poison spitting buddies. No? Is that the boulder area? That sounds like the boulder area. Goodbye. Rope is useless because we have the spider silk. We just auto generate that. Hmm. Oh. Well, that could have been dangerous. What's this way then? Is this just another pathway to the same thing? Yes. Let's see here. I think we're safe doing that. Whoops. Nope. Hmm. There it is. Kind of figured it was close. Now, can I put torches down? I cannot put torches down. Oh. Well, there goes your shield. Oh. Snow, right. Goodbye. Ooh, more bandages. Always glad to get more of those. Yeah, I guess this is just a pathway for you to actively fight the Florins, if you want. Or take the bottom path, if you want to be a bottom, but we don't need to be a bottom. Not today. Let's just look at what else is around. Ah, that just drops poison down. 
How much poison? Not a ton. Doesn't look like we missed anything down there either, so that's also good. Although I'm not sure how that kind of a trap is supposed to get you. What did you just hear? I don't know, you just heard. Nope. Oh. Well, there goes... Oh. Crap. Nope. Please leave me alone. Okay, thank god. Let's see. Anything else in this area that we need to worry about? I don't think so. I think I heard if you want to be a bottom. I mean, sometimes you do. People like having the option at the very least. Can't actually go back that way. Which, that would have been bad. Hmm. Well, best we just keep moving. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask how loud that actually is on stream, but... Now, there's a mild complication where my voice modulator wasn't really working, so I can get the model on at the very least. I can try getting the modulator working again, but it was being very finicky before. Hmm... Yeah, I don't think it's actually going to work. Unless it is actually working and it's just not actively showing it. I really don't know what's been going on with it lately. I'm going to have to look into it. But it's set to the PS1 mode right now, so if it is giving me the usual PS1 voice. Hey, other coffee. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, happy 2022 to you as well. Ow. That doesn't poison me. Good. Oh, that's just poison. Okay. That makes sense. No voice, just shading? Yeah. My voice modulator seems to be broken at the moment, then. I'll have to take a look at that a bit later. But yeah, welcome to 2020, coffee. Hopefully your first coffee of the year was actually a good thing. Let's see. Oh, you're in the poison. Ah. That's where the real chest is. Come here. That's just a shirt. That's not cool. I was mainly doing it for the sound alert anyways. <laughs> sound alert is definitely good. Let's see here. You. First coffee was old. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you've got, like, 365 days to make a better one, so hopefully you can at least have a good one sometime within the new year. Oh, there you are. Alright, well, kind of just worse for wear. There you are. Oh, that's contact and poison. That's bad. There we go. Problem averted. Really just nothing in here except for that one chest that had nothing good in it. As well as this random joke chest. I guess that's fair. 2022 might honestly just be the year I try coffee. It seems like it'd be relatively good, all things considered, with the fact that I get tired too easily anyways. There we go. Also, this game is good. Never beat the story, but I loved building little colonies and exploring. That is kind of one of the advantages of it, definitely. I know I haven't been too much on the building side of things lately with it. Oh, right, there's stuff here. I wonder, though. Is there anything up here? No. You're always looking for, like, secret pathways and such. Whoops. That's bad. Nope. Let's see. Doesn't... Oh, there we go. There's the stuff. Come here. Another benefit with this game as well is just the fact that you can mod it like crazy. Hello, Florin. Hi. Gotta be... Right, you just gotta wait on her. But the story is definitely at least a good thing when it comes down to Starbound. Not 
awful by any means, but it's refreshing. And since this is a bit of a space colony adventure... Oh, that's death. I heard that. Come here. Love the big mechs and the weeb mods. Fair. Admittedly, the weeb mods tend to be fairly nice at the end of the day. I know on my end, I kind of just stick with the race mods, but we can always adventure a little bit just to see what we can do with it. Y'all really don't want to come over here, do you? Oh, crap. That was dumb. Oh, you've got a gun. That's rude. All I've got is a really crappy shotgun. I am so bad with that, I swear. Oh, well, you're in the poison now. Enjoy that. Honestly. Oh, come on. I had a better gun the last time I tried this, admittedly. So, this gets a little bit awkward. Oh, no, that's a poison dip. That's annoying. And how are you not dead? Okay, cool. There we go. You die to poison, and you die to spear. Lovely. Yeah, modding this game is just nice. It's kind of like Minecraft in that sense, where a lot of people were just very excited to just mod the ever-loving crap out of this game. And there's enough pixel artists around that it was definitely an option, pretty much as soon as you just loaded the game up. I know the race mod was kind of one of the easiest things people wanted to get on, since obviously you have about seven races to go through off the top. No, nothing. Okay. Finally have some coffee at noon. I mean, it's better to have coffee than to not. I'm just going to get you into the boulder. You're also very big. See, I'm just fighting intelligently. They're the ones who are dumb. Haha. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, now the fun part. Dealing with you. Because you just have guns. And that's just mean. Please stop that. Cool. And then that's a trap. It has eggnog and rum. Ooh, very nice. That's a checkpoint. And there's our Florin friend. Hello. Alright, this one's a bit worse. Do I really have to shotgun you? That's going to be annoying. How close can I get? Okay, thank god. I don't need to actually shoot you to death. Please go away. Because New Year's Day. <laughs> I mean, New Year's Day is a decent day to at least drink a little bit. So I'm not going to fault you there, Non. Let's see here. How do I get into that? I need to go through here, don't I? Yep. Cool. That's grape seeds. Okay, I'll take some grape. And then the predatory back and then just the book. Hey, I don't really want the predatory gear. It looks bad. It just looks like you have a bunch of sticks poking out of your back. Oh, and then we got another instance of this. Y'all are just mean. Screw you. Oh, she dropped some stuff too. And I can't get it. Because you can't dig in here. And you need the ball to actually just kind of curl up and get in there. Nope. Oh. Some banana seeds. Those aren't too bad. And then... Ooh... Elemental Fire Spear. I'll take it. We are fighting plant people, after all. And here's the boss fight. Hi there, Florin friend. We've got a boss to kill, so hopefully you're alright with jumping and just kind of dealing with this. Eh. 
There we go. I feel like doing anything. Is he not weak to fire? This is not doing much at all. Hmm. Oh, never mind. He just needed to be persuaded. Gotta remember that he's got the armor. And it will reform after a bit, if I recall correctly. Yeah. All oh, right, the kids. Screw the kids. She's not even weak to the kids. Oh, that's bad. Hey, stop being rude. I can't destroy those either. There we go. That gets a good chunk of damage out. Oh, that's bad. There we go. Screw you. Oh, another child. Screw you even more. Nope. More of you. Go away. Gotta remember that I've got that energy wave. That's actually a lot easier to deal with them. How am I taking so much damage? Oh, that's some other child! Jesus. Okay, that was a lot of children. And dead. Please die. There we go. Nux Cranny has a cold sleep pod for me today, and I thought of you. I don't think I actually have that yet. So if you're fine with giving that away, I'm totally down with stealing it from you. Oh, random switch. Let's see. Do I get any good gear for finishing this? I guess I technically got the spear beforehand. Hmm. Although I don't think you get any additional gear. Sacred Bone is yours. Hey, cool, we get the Sacred Bone. It's a little expensive to just give away. 190? Okay, fair. <laughs> cool, and we get the Florin to come with us, even though... Don't really know why we get the Florin to come with us when she's already there, but sure. And then, chest. Much better. But also, you gave me those villagers, so yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to just be able to help folks out. Let's see. Poison broadsword, poison, or ice one-handed thing, and a shield. Thousand bucks. That, which I'm pretty sure I learned. Nope. There we go. Well, we'll take it. Not any gear that we like, but up we go. Now we get to do the fun stuff of trying to figure out how to investigate the fish. The fish are not inherently your friends, but that's fine. We can at least kind of look around and maybe try and get a planet that has oil on it, just so that way we can get the tungsten bow. You also have a quest for us, which is a little bit weird. I think you should go instead. If you're feeling tough, talk to me and I can send you there for the first round. Sure. Anyways, main quest... Look for ocean planets and try and find fish. Hey, and there's the modulator manipulator, so I don't have to worry about that. Give me my power upgrade, please, and thank you. Because I need that. Alright, well. Let's go to this gladiatorial arena. We're a spider. We've got a spear. Let's see if we can do one-on-one -on -one fights with people, including this shady bastard. I don't even know what race that is. That's just some guy in a hood. Nope. Well, this looks fun. Are they going to have guns by chance? Oh, God. This isn't a gladiatorial arena. Oh, dear God. I am not ready for this at all. This is bad. This is quite bad. Nope. Because I'm doing a single damage. Screw you. Let's just get a little bit of extra burnout. Here we go. Let's see here. If I heal well... Ow. I should be okay. There we go. See, I would like her weapon, 
The sniper rifles are just nice. Heal. God, that hurts. Here we go. Hey, we got rid of the gunman. That actually helps us out a lot. Whew. Okay. We do not have the gear for this, but let's just try and take it safe. Anyone who has a gun is just... Oh. We're done already? It was just the one round? Wow, it was literally just the one round. Huh. Yeah, it was... Okay. We weren't geared for that, but sure, we'll take it. Good to get one of the story characters quests out of the way anyways. Anyways. Plant person, I went to the arena for you. Please give me stuff. Thank you. Cool. Well, now we gotta find a fish planet. Which is an ocean planet, which means I'm going to have to do a lot of digging for that. Let's see here. Got a trophy. We can just put that anywhere, so... We can just put it there. That's fancy. Oh, we got a figurine of the little child, too. That's nice. Let's see, do we have any ocean planets on here? May as well check. We're going to have to do a lot, but considering it's very green, it's probably not an ocean planet. I might need to grab fuel. And admittedly, with 12,000, I can grab fuel. Mm. Ah. Much better. Yeah, this is looking like a regular planet, isn't it? Oh, wait. Am I just, like, circling the entire system? There we go. Didn't quite click on the right planet. That's a moon you need to be able to breathe. A desert area populated by cacti. Looks like you can get gold there if we needed to. And then just a gas giant, which you can't land on. Hmm. A desert, though, is not quite what we're looking for. We do need ocean. So put us back to the outpost. I'm going to need to buy fuel and the next star system just to see what we can get. Because I know the main thing is going to be just ocean planet, and then finding an ocean planet and actually finding the fish stuff is just awkward. Would also be nice if I could put, like, show your hair item on, just so we didn't have to have the Roman helmet on at all times. Also, how's my food doing? Looks like we're still pretty good on food. Uh, I can't eat while I'm in the shop. Fair. Let's see. Liquid fuel. Thankfully, fuel is relatively cheap. So, 500? That should be enough. Honestly, we could buy more, too. Buy another 500. Just that way we can be safe. Because we're probably going to need to make sure we have enough money to port around the galaxy when we have the option. Bye. All right, fuel. Let's see, where would the fuel go? Right there. Fuel. Cool, nice and fueled up. So now we can go anywhere we feel like. Which, we're gonna need to, oh, that's a fun little star system. All a part of a constellation too. That's all pretty good. Well, let's just try the stuff over here. Let's go to... Oh, there is an ocean there. Specifically, there is only an ocean here. 100 fuel. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, thank you, Nan. I don't recall what game I have in my Switch. I think I've got... a uh, diamond in the Switch right now. So I'll have to take that out so I can open Animal Crossing again. Because I was pretty determined on... Oh, right, I'm not actually at the plane or anything yet, I'm just in the galaxy. Oh yeah, this is a really weird system. A food distribution station? That's where I am. 
That's a friendly ship, but we need a mech to go there. Yeah, thank you very much, Nan. I'll double check that after stream once I can fiddle around with my switch a little bit. There we go. Just go and hover over that. Let's see. It's got titanium. Titanium is useful. That's better. Assassin's Creed is one of the few games I have downloaded just because I know I'll always have it regardless of where of what cartridge is in. Yeah, that's fair. Admittedly speaking, it is always nice to have a little bit of free assassination whenever you need it. Alright. Beach Planet. Yeah, I know. I just needed to make the joke. Let's see. Oh, cool. I can just be a lawnmower. That's lovely. So, here's the small quirk with the ocean planets. Uh... Obviously, it's mostly covered in water. And admittedly, something that you'll need is just the ability to breathe underwater, or else you're going to be very SOL here. So I might need to figure out how you can breathe underwater or make land bridges. Otherwise, we're going to have varying music like this, and it's not exactly great. The quirk with ocean, they're mostly ocean. Exactly. There's always a party. You can always swim. There is also not much land, so invest doing this quest is a little annoying if you need to come to planets that barely have houses on them in the first place. Uh, you angry? Yes. How angry? Oh. Yeah, it's fairly angry. Ooh, that does a lot to you. You do not like fire. Noted. You also don't like fire. Oh. And then... You look like the parent, so... Goodbye. There we go. There's a fish. Or there's a fish home at the very least. Let's see. The fish are very Japanese in their architecture, as you'll notice. Which isn't a bad thing, and is usually a better reason to start out as a fish. Me that. And then that doesn't count either. You anything good? No. Alright, well. Stab. I do kind of wonder if I can make the breathing apparatus stuff yet. Just I don't remember how. Oh. You are angry. Cool. Oh, there's pineapple here. In case you need a little extra bit of pineapple. Oh, they actually hurt. Goodbye. Yeah, this is also just kind of the issue. Swimming is not exactly fast by any stretch of the imagination. And you resist fire for the obvious reasons that you're a volcano crab. Nope. Even contact damage does that much from you. That is just rude, sir. Hi there. Much better. Burn everything. Oh, that's bad. Can my shotgun hit you? It can, but not for a ton. And just go away. Even with the fire resistance, the spear still does more damage to you, and that's kind of sad. Leather. And goodbye, sir. Goodbye to you. I just love that effect. Just send out a wave of energy. Oops. There we go. It's too bad direct fire does not do much to them, but... Oh boy. Oh, killed something with that. Then you, sir, can go away. I am about to die. There we go. And Mr. Fish. Goodbye, Mr. Fish. Ooh. Cryonic extract. Okay. Don't get to see that all too often. Oh, that's a lot of fish. 
Sorry to your kind fish, but I need to take them out because they're attacking me. Goodbye. Much better. And again, you do way more damage than I keep thinking. Do -do -do. It's nice to be the lawnmower on some of these planets. Because you just get so much excess plant fiber. Oops. Yeah, and there they go. Later, nerds. Let's see. How's our food doing? That's raw. That's going to go bad soon, so need to eat those. It's a lot of wasted meat, too. Now, there is a way to go, like, into the core of the planet. But the way that I've found to do that so far has been awkward, to say the least. Because what you need to do is basically dig enough of a pathway through the base of the islands to collect sand. Then if you place sand on a background tile, that does stop water from auto-regenerating on ocean planets. So slowly but surely, you can just get a... Oops, goodbye fish. You can just make a tunnel going downwards to the bottom, but that takes a while, and I haven't really found... Oh. Well, you don't look friendly. Ow. You don't look friendly at all. Especially with 33 damage. But I know that takes a bit, so I've been trying to avoid it for the most part. Ooh, hey, free titanium. And some free gold. I'll take it. I need to make a few more anyways. Now let's see... Really, the lily pads do not count as something I need to investigate. I think that'd be like an important mural or something. Hmm. Specific doors, that's fine. Assuming nothing else on here, right? Nothing important, at the very least. Nope. Hello. Goodbye. Farewell. Let's see. Can I just do that? I can. Well, if the game's going to make it easy on me, I might as well take advantage of it. No. That's not good. Let's not screw around with poison if we can. Whoop. Okay, so being underwater doesn't give me the wet status, but being above the water does, because I just get out of it. I wonder how electric damage would actually do under the water. Nope. Oh. There we go. Goodbye. I do kind of wish that would do damage to other enemies. Because that's just mean, sir. Hi there. Goodbye. And then you're just going to die, because I don't think the crabs in this game can swim, at the very least. Hmm. Yeah, we've basically been all the way around the planet already. And we found, like, two things to scan. Which is kind of the problem with darting around looking for the... Hylodl? Hylodl, yeah. Hylodl homes are just awkward, and I haven't figured out how to do those yet. Hmm. This is a very wide chunk to the ocean. I might just need to look to see if there's some kind of breathing apparatus I can equip. Oh. Hello. How would you like to burn? Um, is that a bird? That is a bird. Hello, sir. Would you like to face the swimming spider with her fire spear? There we go. Would be better to collect the money, but... Is definitely a little bit awkward, too. Hmm. I might just look it up to see if there is something further down on ocean planets. And if these are just the people living on the surface. There we go. Oh. 
Gotta stop clicking off the game. It's really not helping us very much. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh wow, I missed. Missed three times. Oh dear, that is quite bad. Oh well. Let's just take a look around for a little bit. I'll see if I can make any kind of breathing apparatus thing at the anvil. But I'm not 100% certain on that. Sun's coming up at least. Oh, crap. Later, sir. And a chest. Matter manipulator. Not too bad. More nanas. Gimme. Let's see. Here to view. I'll definitely have to plant those banana seeds somewhere. We can have a little bit of a banana farm going and see if we can make banana bread as our food source. Goodbye to you. And goodbye to you. Because as far as I can tell, land-based enemies can't swim. Or at least they haven't made a conscious effort to. Oh, we can just hover up there and keep the music on. That works too. Goodbye. And give me that, please. Oh, you're just water spitters. Okay. Goodbye. Can probably get coconuts off of these two. That's not too bad. That's just a capsule. Looking for either chests or just people's homes. Whoops. Oh. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, not looking like a ton. Hmm. There we go. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. And I guess goodbye to Poison Boy. Wasn't quite expecting that to just absolutely rock you, but... Can't really fault it. Hmm. I also do kind of like the pile driver spear on this. It's a little bit hard to see while we're kind of going in and out of the water, but it does kind of feel like there's a pressurized stake aesthetic to this. There we go. Just for extra thrust. Come on. How am I not hitting a fish? Please go away. And a lot of coal on this too. Goodbye. And very much goodbye to you. Do not need any of your poison shenanigans. I also don't need to die. That'd be awkward if I died on the water planet where I just didn't know where anything was. Oh, can I not hold any more bananas? Oh, I cannot hold any more bananas. That's a problem. I'm surprised they don't stack. Oh, right, they spit. They're rude. I'm sure there'll be a camel later down the line that just spits at you as an attack. Hey, nice cryogenic cell. There we go. And goodbye to you, volcano crab. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to look into the tech tree a little bit. Because there's no way in hell you're going to find everything above ground on one planet. Hmm. That gave us a little bit of hops. I'm down for it. Hmm. Yeah, really nothing laying about. Although this planet now is big at the very least, I'll give it that. There's the angry fish baby. Don't need to worry about you. Crab, we do need to worry about. Dual crab. Oh, yep. Yeah. And we are back here, apparently. Oh. Ooh, scorched core. Always nice to get more of those. Lovely. 
All right, anything we can actually investigate here? The books are at least free game. Guess we haven't been over on this side yet. Sadly, nothing I can steal from them. That'd be nice. Oh, never mind, there's something to steal from them. Water balloon. Don't really need a water balloon for anything specific. Hmm. Is that all we got? Or is there another home? Oh. There's a bath, I guess. Hello. Assuming there's nothing... S oh, wait, there is. Didn't think that actually counted. Interesting. Glad I didn't miss something like that on my last try through this. Wop. There we go. Get angry and die. Oh, oh boy, that poison really hurts. Hey. Go away. And whop. Oh. Why do you do that much contact damage, sir? Thank you. And honestly, you can just go away. You can go on the water. You're a crab. I'm sure you'll survive. Wop. Hmm. Or is this planet actively big enough to give me all that I need just in one trip on it? I would laugh if it was, but I really doubt it. Oh, hey, look, more bananas. Really should just start a banana farm. Give me that. Now, are you going to attack? No. Gives me free rain, though. Nope. Got it. <laughs> Gotta love sniping stuff out of the air. Anyways, let's grab some chicken. Or chimkin, depending on what you want to call it. I know people lately tend to have a little bit of slang for certain foods. Oh. Well, you exist, but I don't think there's anything more to scan. Nope. You're not special. Nothing here is really that special. Hmm. Now, what would your quest be exactly? Some scavenging divers? Okay, so yeah, there are ruins underneath the water. I guess that would make the most sense. Which means I need a breathing apparatus of some kind. Let's see here. Starbound breathing underwater. Let's see. The breathing environmental protection pack. How do you make that? It's an ingredient for an upgrade. Anvil is glass, living root, and tungsten. Huh. Why have I not seen that before? Well, we got sand. Let's just grab a whole collection of sand. And then we'll go back up to the ship, because I've got everything kind of up there anyways. Give me all of this. Need tungsten for the ball upgrade as well now. Yeah, I think so. I need gold right now for the next upgrade, which I don't quite remember which one that is, but I need a 10 gold for something. And currently we're at 7, because I wanted to make the armor first, even though it doesn't really look all that great. Up. We don't exactly have a home base on the ocean planet right now, so it's fine. Oh, we don't actually have an anvil in here, do we? Can I make one? What do I need? I need iron. I thought gold was for double jump. No, apparently not. Or I just grabbed that already. Let's see, iron. Give me that. I need this. Make an anvil. 
Just so that way we can keep that on the ship. Cool. Alright then. Inventory. Buildings. Anvil. So let's see here. Breathing apparatus. There we go. Tungsten, glass, and living root. We do have living root, so we're good. So let's grab the mass amount of tungsten we have. Let's cook up some of our glass after petting our pet spider. Uh, and glass. There we go. I believe we need 10 for this. Cool. This will let us kind of explore moons too. So that'll help us out a little bit. And then volatile powder. That makes it sound like you can make guns. Not sure how I feel about that. Cool. Now we can breathe. Let's just equip that right away. Because that's just needed. There we go. Cool. Now we can breathe underwater. So, let's try this again. I think having the tungsten and the iron on us is fine for the moment. So, where is our nearest thing of water? Oh, Jesus. Ow. Jesus, there's a lot of enemies here right now. Nope. Oh, we're on the... Oh, you have a gun. Well, that's good to know. You feel like... Oh. Oh, that's bad. Cool. So that should allow us to just breathe underwater now. So that's cool. Alright, Geronimo. Let's take a look and see what we can find down here. So you can't exactly get a light or anything, but we do at least have a flashlight. So in case anything tries to eat our face off, we can keep an eye out for that. Like that. There we go. There's light on the ocean floor. Oh god, okay, you hurt. So that's pretty. And I guess that's just how you get down here, so that's cool. I'm going to assume that means I can't place torches underwater, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. There we go. I might need to make some form of... Really, the anchor doesn't count. That'd be the best thing. Now, can I dig under here, by chance? Hey. Lovely. Glow sticks do that. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting glow sticks are a thing. I can't make those on hand, though. So, that's a bit of a whoops. Let's see here. Would be nice if we could actually move under here a bit easier, but... Ooh. Well, this looks fun. Probably should scan stuff first. Just on the off chance any of this is important. Large geyser covered in plant growth. Food hath arrived. Always nice when your food gets there. What'd you end up having for lunch, Jasper? No. Oh. Whoop. I guess this means I should create some form of an entrance to go underground further. Just so that way I can actually scavenge around here. Oh. Screw everything in there. A Hawaiian chest. Okay. Don't be too cheeky, game. Let's see. May as well heal. While we make our way on the bottom floor of the ocean like a crab. Oh. Hello. This looks a little bit more important. There we go. There's a way to get... Oh god, that's an enemy. Hello, angry fish. Okay, you actually do a lot of damage. Noted. I wonder, though. Anything I can scan around here? Plain old water. Water is definitely important. And Taco Bell. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I haven't actually had Taco Bell? Mainly because I just don't have any around here. Oh, hey, we got a banjo. That's wholly unnecessary, but we'll take it. 
Now I wonder if we'll find a place that isn't underwater. You're not missing out on much. That's kind of what I hear. Like, it's low-quality Mexican food, and I get that, but sometimes it's nice to just have low-quality food. Ooh, a diamond. I'll take that. Actually, a lot of diamonds in here. Jesus. And titanium, too. Might help us with any future upgrades. Ooh. Hello. Ooh, there is a robot. Hey, look at that. Sniper rifle. Finally got a better gun. Just wish I could have a... light on it. It's bastardized, Americanized Mexican food. Okay, that's a good reason to not like it. Oh, there's a box. Hello. And module manipulator. Take that. Oh yeah, the dwarven villages. I guess you haven't actively seen dwarven villages, but they have fun with them. Hi, fish. Well, I wanted a sniper rifle, so I got one. That's always cool. Tech card. Titanium and silver. Nothing. Titanium. We are getting a lot of titanium, at least, so that's nice. What? Let's see. More stuff in here. Hello. Nothing in you. And just a little bit of money in you. I guess these are underwater ruins. They aren't exactly going to be the easiest thing to explore. Mexicans view them the same way. I have come to understand most Chinese Americans view Panda Express, which is to say, don't tell your grandfather we're eating this. Oh, that's definitely a bit of a concern. But makes sense. Throwing knives. Actually. Yeah, throwing knives. Are they different than the ones I had before? They are. They're knives, not daggers. Okay. They're probably just a little bit better. And have I grabbed you two yet? Looks like it. Alright. Alright, on we go. I should find a way to maybe mark things down. Just so that way we don't get supremely lost. Oop. Hey, cool. We actually have air here. Ooh. Ooh. That's a shotgun? With an on-command grenade launcher tied to it, too. Okay. That's a good combo. And more tech cards. What's the special on this? Hmm. What is the special on that? Marked shot. So we must be able to just focus on things. Like... Okay. Interesting bonus. I'll take it. Now, it'd be nice if I could get into the downstairs here. Although I wouldn't exactly want to flood the dwarven villages immediately. Hi there. Give me healing. I appreciate it. Give me titanium. I also appreciate it. Although, even underground, there's not really much to look at so far. And yeah, nothing here. Just bubbles. Technically speaking, we could make a way here if we just dug in and went down. But let's just take a bit of a further peek around. I believe. Yeah, there was another down path. Oh, hell yeah, I hit a minus one Celsius tonight. Always good. Minus one Celsius isn't too bad. Goodbye, fish. Thank you for the pixels, though. Let's see here. Ooh. Well, this is definitely further stacked up. There's throwing stars here. Okay. Thank you for being the ninjiest fish you can be. Oops. That's not the button I wanted. Let's see. More crate with nothing in it. Oh, gold. Give me that. I still need some gold. 
Not much else. Hmm. Might be better to just dig down into the caverns at this rate. Or just go back to the surface and see if I can find another one of these. Oh. A door. Hey, there we go. That's a big old thing. And a quill, too. Hmm. Okay, so there are more buildings under here. I guess we just got further to go, then. Especially with all these doors. Oh, that's a big fish. Close the door. Hi there. Oh, I can't hit you through here. I can't hit you with that, though. That's cheating beyond all measure. Well, that's fine. When in doubt, it's just nice to get rid of the big angry fish that are trying to eat you. There we go. You are guarding... Ooh. Free diamond pick. I'll take it. That's a good thing to have someone guard. Oh. No, that's a regular fish. That's fine. And I need to eat. Before things get too bad. Anyways, hi there. Now, is there any good way to actually fight you? I don't think so. I don't know there is. All the fish just seem to charge at you. Not sure if that's a good way to fight or a bad way. Let's see. Basic broadsword. Don't need that. That's good. The reed organ? Oh, right. The... Pianos that you blow into, the keytars that you blow into, those are interesting. Not the worst thing in the world, but no, we don't need the Hawaiian bra on. Can't even joke about wanting to use that. Let's see. Would fish be weaker to electricity, I wonder? Fish might be weaker to electricity. Let's just try it out. Still nothing good to scan, though. Go over here. So we got further down to go here. Little fish, that's fine. More boxes, more manipulators. The high's 11 today? Ugh. God, 11 highs are never fun. Ooh, hey, a rocket launcher. With a special of a homing rocket. Anything I can sacrifice for that? Probably that. Just put that in there. Oh, there's something to scan. Finally. Rocket launcher. wonder how much better that would be than what we've got there. Bump. Not great for underwater, but that's kind of understandable. Money. Money and titanium. I don't even need to mine titanium at this rate. I'm just finding more of it than I can even find underground. Because how much do I actually have of that now? Let's see. I've got 60 of it already. That might help us out a little bit for our next tier of armor. Nope, not that. Let's see. Nothing else, really. So that might be the end of this area. Still only got it like halfway up on the research meter, though. That's really awkward. Oh. Hey. We can actually go above ground again. At least for a second. Just put that there so we can see it. Let's see. What would be a good thing right now? Probably setting up a campfire just to cook some of the food that we've got, right? Let's just put a little bit of a stop station in here. There we go. Put down a little campfire. That we can cook some of the stuff that we got. And just nom that before it gets too bad. Do wonder what we can do with the bananas on hand, though. There we go. 
cool. That'll provide some light there. Now, where else would we be able to go? Because we came here as a result of that fish. We kind of skipped out on this way, so... Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here. Mirror. A don't go that way. Okay, still a lot left to explore. Oh dear. Come on. That got rid of you. Cool. Oh, I took out the flower. There we go. You dead? Cool. Didn't want to have to deal with you if you didn't have to. That's a clarinet. Oh, I can't actually take that because my inventory is so full. Uh, We'll get rid of the basic weapons at the very least. Shotgun's just bad. The throwing stars are a little annoying. The shield is not something I'm ever going to use. It's good to collect the musical instruments, just in case you want to collect them with friends. Let's see. Ooh, hello stuff. Salve and money. Then an actual chest with a painting in it. And I'll take it. Wait, did that actually count towards my research? I mean, I'm totally down for it, but... Not quite what I was expecting. Oh, no, I was just going to fill that in. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Don't exactly want to flood the rest of that underground area. Oh, there we go. There's safe passage into the actual underground of this area. Cool, we can actually hear what's going on now. That helps out tremendously. And it looks like ads are just about to start, so... I think I might just take a self-imposed break since we've been going for close to three hours now. So why don't we just do that really quick? You can have the relaxing music while we dance.
All right, then. Hello again. Did want to take a moment to just cut up the kielbasa, too, just because may as well have that as a little bit of a snack myself before dinner, since I didn't really eat lunch or anything like that. But enjoy burning your dinner, Solace. We'll be here for an hour, and then we'll probably raid someone, although I'm not sure who. Saturdays are always a weird day for raids, so we'll see who's available. Probably not Toto, because we got Toto last night, but we'll see. Now let's see. Gold, gimme. And titanium, too. Well then, I guess we're at the best level for finding titanium now. I am totally down for it. Titanium, gold, and silver are all down here. Just had some nice eggs and American cheese for lunch. It's not a bad thing. Did you kind of just melt the cheese into the eggs themselves, or did you do something else? Oh, vegan cheese. Okay. Sorry, I'm too used to people just calling American cheese fake cheese, so that's where the usual correlation sits in my head. But vegan cheese is def or cheese and eggs is always a good thing, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think too many people kind of use the... There we go. Use American cheese as fake cheese, since it does kind of look like fake cheese. It was quite tasty. Always good to hear then. There's a lot of gold around here. I mean, I, hopefully I don't need to dig up any of these dwarves' homes. I really don't want to have the robots attacking me. There we go. Much better. But always good. Eggs are good for you, and I'm going to assume vegan cheese is still good for you. Oh, there goes that tree. Oh wow, that's a lot of gold here. And titanium. Apparently coming to the ocean planet's good. Added some cheese. 
or added some chives, green onions, salt and pepper, scrambled into nice big curds. Mmm. Very nice. Definitely don't need to ruin anything like that with a bit of ketchup either, because that's probably got more than enough flavoring on its own. Trying to destroy the dwarf homes. Or their tiny light posts. Because the fun thing that they do with Starbound is that you can technically just dig up these people's homes, and then the dwarves become a throwable weapon. Which, I'm not sure the ethicality of that, but you can do it. Oh, I added a touch of hot sauce. Okay. Yeah, hot sauce is fine. Because hot sauce is just that way you can make it a little bit spicier and a little bit nicer. Oh, wow. That goes a lot faster. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any platforms available to me? I do. Hunting bow can go off for now. We need to be able to move. And schmoove for the better. Oh, crap. That ended poorly. Ethics schmethics. <laughs> uh, when you do get to this point, Jasper, you might be a little bit behind. Oh, I've actually been dropping a lot more frames than I've realized. Huh. 2% is not very good. But you might need to refresh it, Jasper. There's been a good amount of drop frames today. That's a lot of bones. All right, well, let's just see what they got. We went from a home full of dwarves to just bones. Oh, construction area. On top of the dwarves. Or I guess underneath the dwarves. I think that's silver. All right. Test one, test two. Let's see how good your delay is now. Well, three seconds. Okay, you're good. Yeah, I just kind of looked down and I noticed I've dropped a good 6,000 frames today, which I'm just going to blame on the fog. It's always the fog fault. I don't like the fact that there's a lot of bones near a bunch of mining equipment. There we go. That's good enough. Admittedly, though, there might be oil in this area. We'll have to see. Let's see here. Good bit more gold. We probably have enough to get that in the next piece of tech, so that's helpful. There's bones. Oh, no, that's titanium. I keep forgetting that titanium kind of looks like skulls. Oh, hey there, Ken. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the day has been treating you well so far, and Happy New Year's. Uh, how are things on your side so far, by the way? Since I know you're kind of an hour before stream at the moment. <laughs> Happy New Year, indeed. Should be an interesting one. It started off with fog, so I'm trying my best not to compare it to Silent Hill at all, but we'll have to see. Oh, right, you are taking today off. I forgot about that. Well, good morning, then. Either way. <laughs> kind of forgot you were taking today off. Gives you some time to adventure around, then. And gives Saul some time to actually burn his dinner a bit properly, too. So that'll be interesting once he's able to come back. But we'll have to see what happens. It's going to be a nice quiet day, I feel, since either people are going to be too tired after the New Year's partying, people are going to be hungover from the New Year's partying, or there'll just be people like me who are sticking to their schedule and doesn't really condone with most people right now. But that's fine. Right now we're kind of just playing a bit of modded Starbound. Mainly because spiders don't normally exist in Starbound. But, I mean, we're cute. I wish I could take the helmet off, but I kind of need the stats right now. I partied and had to work at 4am. Yeah, that's true. But your work's a little bit different, right, Jasper? Also, we kind of discussed your self-harming tendencies a little bit earlier. Let's see. Anything else good down here? 
I just need to head back up in all honesty and maybe find another ocean planet to scan. Just so that way we don't get super lost down here. Oh, that's a platform, Jude. Let's see, that's... Sil... Tungsten? Yeah, Tungsten. That's fine. Let's see, what else can we find down here? Anything good? Uh, maybe. Torch. That's a plant that mainly grows underground. That's tongue... Whoops, ow. Well, that's not too bad, at least. Grab all that titanium if we can, please, and thank you. Much better. I know one thing I should actually check. Can I even order food today? Now that I think about it? Would the places I order food from actually be open on New Year's? That's a good question. Now that I think about it. Get up there. I'll have to check after this. Because I was planning on ordering food to just celebrate the New Year, but... Kind of realizing now that might not be an option. Oh well. Kill boss on crackers for now. Mm. Mm. At least give some time to listen to the music of this game, too, because it's definitely calming when you're underground at the very least. Only realistically picks up when you're near enemies, but. That's fine. Up. But for work being different, I suppose it can be. Hmm. And no worries there, Jasper. I know that you tend to have a couple things on the go as of late. But at least if you can relax a little bit now. And I'm going to assume you're done work if you had to work at 4 a.m., It'd kind of suck if you had a 12-hour-plus work day on New Year's Day of all days. Hmm. Hmm. We're getting in its unlimited bone works territory. That's not good. Only had to do four hours. Okay, four hours isn't too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not finding too much more. We do admittedly need to just find more about the fish people. And I'm not exactly finding dungeons on this planet, so... Might be best to just head back up for now. Oh, more titanium. Hold on. Do need more titanium, for sure. Didn't cut the kielbasa thin enough. That's fine. Still good. Alright, well. Let's head back up for the moment. Mainly so that way we can kind of put away everything. Hmm. Silver. That's a lot of silver, actually. Jesus, that's a ton of silver. Uh-oh. That doesn't look friendly. That doesn't look friendly at all. Oh, God! Wow, that is angry. Okay. No, okay, that's not a straight shot. That was an unnecessarily large boy. Um. Weird. Huggy boy. Just a little bit, yeah. Well, we gotta be careful about him, because he hits like a truck. But he does stick... Oh, yeah, he's gonna be, like, way down into the pit by now. Alright. Oh, no, he escaped somewhere else. I guess we're good. Maybe he'll pop up again later. 
Let's just grab this titanium since we're here. That was scuffy. That's fine. We'll need titanium probably for the next gear upgrade. I'll have to check the web loom once I get back up top, but... Come on. Let me get up there. I swear the spider bodies just feel a little bit too big at times, but that would make sense. Yoink. Jeez, okay. I mean, if you're going to keep giving me titanium, I'm going to take it. It's always nice to just get an ex excess amount, just that way you can build everything right off the top. Oh, I needed oil. That's what I needed. I need oil so I can make the tungsten bow, just so that way we can hunt food a bit easier. There we go. This should link back up to our water path. Yeah, right there. And then that's silver, but still good. So I believe I still need silver to make the spider-specific gear. And I'm assuming there's still a good chunk of that I'll want to make in the future. Also, yeah, little dwarven tiny homes. You can mine them, and you can use the dwarves themselves as throwing weapons, so... If you want to have an impromptu throwing weapon, just steal dwarven people and chuck them at your enemies. Kind of the best way to do it. Alright then, now for the slow swimming section. Let us go back to the surface. I need a flashlight, please and thank you. There we go. Yeah, this is the fish people's ruins. It's about as decrepit as you could think, considering it's just purely underwater now, but still nice. Just a bit of a problem. Interesting. Did I grab anything out of these? Apparently not. That's weird. I think you'd be able to, but oh well. Kind of like the Lizalfos from Breath of the Wild. You can use their bones as boomerangs. That's true. Waterlogged book, apparently, we can read, so that's cool. Oh, and this place hasn't actually filled up the water. Oh, hey, there's something. Oh, wow. That filled the bar up a lot. Okay. Just a random model of the library? I'm taking that. That's not what I was expecting to find. Good thing I kept searching a little bit. Throw a melee DPS lolafell, it becomes a ranged DPS lolafell. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong, Jasper. You're not wrong. I need like one more thing to scan. Which is not going to require another planet, I think. I just need to be lucky and find like one thing I may have missed. You're definitely not it. Just coral. Or the Prinnies and Disgaea. That's true. Although Prinnies and Disgaea are more an explosive than a ranged weapon. Hmm. Nothing else here. Okay. Let's get our little spider booty a little bit higher. And just see if we can fill in that one last thing. They are living grenades. They are. Yeah. So, like, technically it's a thrown weapon, but printies are just meant to explode. So I don't exactly count them as, like, a thrown knife or anything like that. Can I check all these? I guess I did. Nothing else to scan over here, huh? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right, food. Do -do -do. Eat all of that. The bananas are still pretty good, actually. I wonder if there's anything useful we can make with bananas. Assuming you're all good? Yeah. Speaking of which, I remember you talking about Disgaea for stream once upon a time. Did you decide against that? No, I haven't decided against it. Just I wasn't sure when a good time to start it would be, since Disgaea is kind of a long... Like, any game that you play is going to be very, very long... So I'm just not sure when I'd want to start it, if anything. Let's see. Back on the surface, at the very least. 
Yeah, the length of Disgaea games is just kind of an issue. I'll definitely look into it, because I might want to replace it as one of the RPG night things. Oh. Looks like the Fire Spear worked just as well as the Electric Spear on you guys. That's fine. Oh. Hello, Open Pit. Oh. That's boring. And I guess it would come down to which Disgaea we'd want to play, really. Because I've got the PC available ones already. I do have three as well, but I'm not sure if we'd want to play three, just so that way we'd get the console stuff out of the way early, or if we'd want to go in order. Hi, fish. Goodbye, fish. But we'll see. I'll take a look at which ones I've got and see which ones would be a good one to play. I think 6 I'll stay away from, because I didn't end up buying 6. I had a feeling that they wouldn't be able to do 3D super well, and apparently they didn't. So, they can just leave it alone. You vote at the beginning. So just starting with Laharl and kind of going from there. Yeah, I could see that. We'll take a peek, though. Let's see here. Need one more scannable thing if we can. But all of this we've done already. Give us something fun. Oh, coral creep. We actually needed that. And reef pod. Hmm. Six was kind of weird. My least favorite, I think. Yeah, that's kind of the feeling I was getting in terms of just general quality of six. Like, I get that they needed to make the switch to 3D eventually. Nobody wanted them to, but they kind of needed to do it at some point. And from what I recall with the mechanics, it's still good functionally, but I don't recall it running well, and I don't recall it getting a huge amount of reception. Ooh, modulators. And then a big old poison sword, which I can grab right now. Cool. Do I want to put that over anything? Probably over the rocket launcher for now, just so that way we've got a poison weapon. That's actually pretty quick, too. Oh well. But we can definitely start with the quote-unquote mainline games for now. So we can do 1 and 2 on PC fairly easily. I do have 3 for... I believe 3 is on PS3, right? If I recall correctly. Ooh. Underwater grave. Oh, angry fish. Somehow I didn't see you before. There we go. There we go. Need to get in here. The thing that was kind of interesting is that they implemented a programmable AI thing which turned the game into an auto-battler. <laughs> I mean, an auto-battler for in a Disgaea game might help a little bit all things considered, considering how long it actually takes to get the game going. But an auto AI thing, hmm. I guess that's technically all right. Modulator, throwing axes, tech card, and another kind of weak sniper rifle with just a bouncing shot. That might be something we can sell or chuck later in case we find anything new. And if I recall correctly, Six did at least have a couple of interesting classes to go with it, right? Because they added the Met Girl into Six, as well as... That's a chest? That is a chest. Ooh. Never mind, we found a better sniper rifle. Just gonna take that. You do not get purple gear very often, I'll tell you that much. Let's see... And we can get the Buccaneer and the Tricorn. And a Snorkel if we so choose. That actually go well? <laughs> kind of. We need to find a Pants gear at some point. But that works. But now we got a big old electric rifle. That's just fun. And we got Mark Shot too. I want to make an AI-centric tactics game sometime. It would be interesting... If only because, like, tactics games can at least go slowly, which is nice. 
that does tend to be one of the slight downsides when it comes to tactics games, if you think about it that way. But just the fact that they are turn-based, they're not super high action or anything like that, but people like it for that reason. Just it's always a little bit awkward to program, I guess is the best way of putting it. Nothing in these barrels. I really do not know why they put nothing in those things. But this guy is always a good reference point to look at, and I'm sure you've played them as well, Non. But, let's see. That, that, and medkit. Cool. Haven't gotten a medkit in a while. But, good point of reference. This guy is definitely just a little bit more silly. So I'm not sure if it's the best point of reference for wanting to base your game off of, but it's definitely a good one. You make... Mm, I'm liking this rifle so far. This is a lot more powerful than anything I've actively found in this game. And just fun, because it's just a lightning sniper rifle now. Ooh, we got raw fish. No, oh, not that. Let's see here. You want to give me, like, one more ruin, maybe? Just with one specific thing in it? We're just going to have to deal with that one and find the one thing I missed in there. That's kind of what it's feeling like right now, and I'm not liking that idea. Hmm. So how does... Oh, that just auto-targets that. Okay. I have this concept of using machine learning to make true backstories for generated NPCs and have those events change how the AI reacts to different situations. That'd be an interesting way of doing it, but I can imagine that making it a bit harder to make. I don't know. I haven't seen it done before, but that does sound pretty plausible. So I'd wish you luck when you get the chance to actually try that out. Well, hello, random well. Oh. Wait, no, you can still dig this out. Oh. Well, no, that's boring. You really just had a well at the bottom of the ocean filled with nothing but loose sand. That's just mean game. Torch. There we go. Gives you a little light pocket down there, at least, just so you know. Currently a pipe dream, but someday? <laughs> Definitely understandable. Let's see. You are no. But what's the point of this? Give me all of that, please. Thank you. Play just nothing in here? Just death? Yeah, just death. Okay. I'd laugh if it was just Coral that got it for us, but... Maybe a little bit too... Predictable. Hmm. Does look like an important ruin, though. So it might be connected to something else, like this. Hello, random temple looking thing. Or ship. You got anything for me, ship? Got a fish. Another tech card. A, an ice pistol. Okay. That could come in handy. Just so that way we can actually toss the flashlight onto something. Then we can freeze things. Including fish. Sorry, fish. You know I love you, but sometimes we just gotta get the cryo stuff out. And this is... yeah, automatic pistol. I expect Jude to exclusively use ice weaponry. Yeah, I've been trying to exclusively use ice stuff, but I really haven't found any on this file yet, to be honest with you. And give me some food. Oh, it's starting to spoil. That's not good. Give me that. Because sadly, that this gun is like the second ice weapon I found so far. And the first one wasn't exactly good by any stretch of the imagination. But this one's decent. It's a decent machine pistol, so... It does do a good amount of damage. So if we find anything that's super weak to ice, we can kind of take that out pretty easily. 
more raw fish too. It's always nice for us. But that is partly why I'm also using like electric based weaponry, if only for the fact of like beep boop. But I found a lot more electric weaponry than I have ice. And this rifle I'm definitely keeping for a while. That's just stone. That's not a huge concern right now. Oh, actually killed something by just trying to light up the ground. Oh, that's bad. Anything down here? No, just some copper. Ooh, found another one of these underwater tombs. Kind of wish there was a better way I could get into them. But this does seem to be one of the slightly better ways. Kelp? Why can kelp be used to make a rice cake? There we go. Break into here. That'll fill up, but that's fine. Modulator, water balloons, kind of a weak spear, and another med kit. Okay, and then multi-stab. I do kind of like the flurry for the spears, because that's just silly. But not a great spear, and our inventory is kind of full, so. Yoink. Still weird that we have not found any good things to scan for a while. There must just be one more thing in that cavern area that we were in before. Or here, actually. No. This is just a side questy area, I guess. Because I just remember there being some certain caves that would kind of just allow you to see where enemies spawn in. Hmm. We look like a very weird crab. Because we've got the pirate outfit on now. So we are just an underwater spider pirate, which kind of just sounds like a crab by most standards. What in the world is this? Oh. Oh. Well, oh. There's drainage back to the outside. Okay. What in the world is this? This is like an underwater base that the apes would make. Why is this here? And why is it empty, for lack of better phrasing? What? Huh. I have no idea what this all is, but cool. We'll take it. May as well loot it for what it's worth. And then maybe we can get lucky and actually get that last bit of fish research in here, but I'm really doubting it. This looks like this is a ape colony building. Because the apes are kind of high-tech in this universe. Oh, hey, we can sell stuff here. Oh, no, we can't sell stuff here. We can just buy stuff here. Including a just a random vending machine working underwater. That's fine. That's how vending machines work. Oh, cool, that was enough. Cool. I've never heard of the Grand Pagoda Library, but come back to the Ark whenever you're ready. Cool. That does actually work. Good to hear that that's actually part of the fish culture. Anyways, let's loot this place for all that it's worth. Because this is probably going to have some stuff in it at the very least. Ooh, those are big containers. Let's see, empty, empty nectar. That's not needed. Can I take these? Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. Ooh, grenade launcher. That's not too good. Then the throwing axes, which I think we ditched before. A lot of manipulator modules here. That's definitely helpful. Bombs and salve. Alright, what else you got for me? Get our skinny butts up here. I don't believe there's anything more in the cafeteria block. Other than things to scan, but... Hmm. No, that's good. Alright, one more layer up. Hello? Anybody live here? Oh, hey, yeah, there's fish people down here. They just... 
built a traditional home on top of all this? That's weird. And I guess that's where all the quests work, so we haven't seen any in a while. That is... I am very confused. Keep calm and something. Oh, we found the bar. I hope they don't mind that I'm dressed up like a pirate. Hmm. Oh, I can't actually get in there. I can research all his alcohol, though. So that's nice. There we go. Now we can dance. Let's see. Anything else fun in here? I'm going to assume that's blocked in. Yeah. So the fish know how to party. I guess this is where they've been hiding for the longest time. Anything else in here we can do? Aside from watching fish... Ooh, hello, arcade. That's a... Jesus, that's a gigantic arcade. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, I didn't... I knew they were more traditionally Japanese. I wasn't really expecting the futuristic point of this, though. Let's see. Ooh. Hello. Oh. No, you don't actually sell stuff, even though it's a shop. Rude. I wonder if they're okay with me stealing these. No. I think your thing stops working as soon as you come in here, so you can't actually steal anything from here. Oh well. Bit of a shame, but what can you do? Would be a good place to kind of camp out, though. They even have DDR. Like, these guys know how to party if they've got DDR. Admittedly, though, I'd be cheating. I've already got legs that cover the entire board, so... That wouldn't exactly make for a challenge. Oh wait, there's stuff to steal down there. Hello, don't mind me. Just gonna steal your stuff. Titanium gold and... Pressurized beam. Don't think we need that for decoration just yet. And the lantern. That's not too bad. Let's see. A lot of titanium. Oil lantern. That's not important. Titanium. Bandages. Money. Don't really care about any of those. Let's see. Floor ornaments. Salve. Ooh, diamond and titanium. Always good. And nothing out of you. That is so rude. More salve in you. Is that a... That is a fish person romantic movie poster. Ten things I hate about Florins. How is that a romance movie? How is hating plant people a romance movie? That raises a lot of questions. Either way, I'm just going to take the money here. I'm not sure why y'all hate the flower people so much, but that is your problem to deal with. I am just a spider. Ooh, they've got hologram technology too. Interesting. Oh, that's a crane game, isn't that? That's cute. Oh, there is stuff up here. I don't think that works. Yeah, that doesn't work on spiders. Ten Things I Hate About You was a rom-com. Really? Jeez, I have not heard of this, some of these. Mm, two more, and then we can kind of upgrade our power a bit. Might do that, though. Just so that we can get the 3x3 three three for now. I have not heard about that rom-com before, but... Why would they reference that here? Oh, here's all the traditional stuff. Flower. Anything good in here? Technically more fish books, which is always good. It's a teen rom-com? Okay, then that would definitely be a reason why I would never hear about it. Let's see. Oh, that's not an interactable. 
And it's based on Shakespeare, apparently. Could be based on, like, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Codex already known. Okay. Let's see. Big bookcase. Really, the big bookcases aren't interactable. That's a shame. By the way, hope you enjoy your library, miss. Based on Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. Oh, that's one you don't hear about too often. Jeez, that's a lot of pods. Hmm. Taming of the Shrew, 10 Things I Hate About You, offers a refreshing revival of the good teen films as compared to the typical teen films. It was made in 99. Okay. I am definitely old enough to have seen that, but... Oh. Get down here. Probably not something I would have wanted to watch around that time. Oh, that's a door. Okay. Grapes and the auto tomato that the robot people use. Why do you even have these? Those are not that useful. Oh, kitchen counter. Assuming I, I really just can't steal anything. What about pickaxes? Nope, you just can't mine things here. Okay, fine. Figured I could get away with it, but I guess not. Let's see. A lot of things are openable here. Let's see. Pressurized platform, which is a no. Also nothing in there. And other than that, it's just people, so... Yeah, I should probably just get out of here. This place is just absolutely giant. They even have a graveyard in here. How do you have a graveyard underwater? Why would you not just bury them under the water? Your fish. Keep them with the rest of the fishy bottom. Nope. Oh. Might be a room up there. Then paintings. That's probably good enough for everything else, so... Let's see if we can get out of here. Ow. Bit better. Yeah, this is the airlock again. Nope. There we go. And we're free. Into the oncoming storm of this fish. Goodbye. Alright then. Oh. You're a good fish, though. Okay. You don't have to worry about that, then. Let's just go back to the surface. We'll reconvene on... Oh. Well, that's awkward. It kind of just popped up right underneath the land. Okay. Give it a moment. Just gotta swim around the land. There we go. Mm. Yay, we made it. Alright, well, we got plenty of stuff to sell. That's what at least let us go to the Ark so we can sell off some of these really crappy weapons. But considering what time it is... Let's just get some cleanup done. We'll end stream near top of the hour, and then that'll be good. That'll give me some time to see if I can even order dinner today. And then get ready for Dark Souls a bit later. Because I think we're getting close to at least finishing the base game there. We'll kind of have to see how that goes. But we'll have to see. I did at least find the area we needed to go to to find the Witch of I Witch of Isolith, I believe is the pronunciation. So that'll be nice. But aside from that, let's go sell all of our weapons to the gas station because that's the best place to sell your weaponry to. Hello. Hmm. Which ones were we cool with getting rid of? 
Not that. I do like that. Hmm. Let's get rid of you. You're kind of a bad ice one-handed sword. You're not a great electric spear, admittedly. I do kind of like the energy whirl a little bit better. I didn't get a chance to try you. We do not really need the snorkel or any of those. That's our old bad sniper rifle. Now we've got a very good sniper rifle. I should just store some of those, but we'll see. Aside from that, all of that's a keep, so that's good by my end at the very least. Sell. Much better. Let's go back up to our ship. We'll melt down that titanium. And we'll see what we can make with that, because titanium feels like the next... Oh, we can't even make it. That's a problem. Anvil? No, that's not it. Can I upgrade this stuff? Hmm. I need silver, huh? Well, I got plenty of silver. Let me just grab all of this. Anvil. Copper bar. Melt down what we've got, which isn't much. Gold bar. Got more gold than we needed, so we can do that. Silk bar's a no. Silver's a yes. Then we can start upgrading our crafting tables a little bit. Then tungsten. Didn't get too much, but that's fine. Need coal for that. Okay. Can at least upgrade that now. Glass, silver, and a bit of tungsten? Sure. That's looking fancy. That gives us a lot. Jesus. Okay. So we've now got the refinery. We've got the counter. I'll probably need to grab some more coal, just so that way we can upgrade the furnace, but... What else can we do? Yeah, we'll need to upgrade the furnace to upgrade the anvil. That makes sense. That means we need some coal, which I don't think... Oh, I do have a lot of coal. Then we just need some glass. Do I have... I do have some sand left over. Perfect. Let's just get that going, then. Upgrade. That's looking better. And that lets us smelt the titanium stuff. Cool. I'm going to need pretty much all of that. Oh god, yeah, we have a lot of titanium. I was about to say, we were getting really lucky underground with just finding titanium in places, so that should let us get the next tier of armor relatively quickly. If we can't already. Let's see, armor? Nothing immediately pops out. We need leather to get the next tier. Okay. Leather is not too hard to come by. We kind of just need a plant. Plant. We, we need an actual planet, so that way we don't just immediately falter. And that, just for the sake of it. Red leather, yellow leather. Exactly. <laughs> that should give us a few options for weapons now, too. Yeah, just basic titanium spear. Mainly, we probably don't... Oh, the radi radiation upgrade. Radiation upgrade. Radiation upgrade. Probably should just get that now. Upgrades. This upgrade adds radiation neutralization to your capabilities using on planets with high radiation levels. So now we can explore quite a few different places. Oh, it didn't re-equip it. Put that back on. Cool. So now we can explore basically Chernobyl, so that's cool. Let's see, you can go up. Can the foraging table go up? No, you need... you need a lot of stuff to actually upgrade that. That's weird. And I still need to find oil, too. Hmm. 
Well, I guess we can do that next time we're playing this. Oh, string. I need 25 to do that? Can I make 25 right now? I can. Sweet. But next time we'll kind of tackle it, do a little bit more resource gathering, do the fish quest up here, which should be okay with the gear that we have now. There we go. Cool, now we get a sewing machine. I'm going to assume the loom does not need to be upgraded. Because this thing kind of just feels like it was upgraded right off the top. Then just leather. Then I should have enough of everything else to just make that. So that will help us out a lot. What's new on the sewing machine, by chance, since we're here? Oh, a mannequin for ourselves. Well, that's cool. Then the teddy bear. Which we can almost do. Need copper, though. And then synthetic. All right, because you can collect poison by collecting, like, poisoned water and such. So it's not that hard to do. Then past that, I don't think most of this clothing is going to help us. Oh, wait, no, these are important. That's what I needed. I need not the new cape. New hat. That's it. Just so that way we can basically just display our hair at all times. But that requires us getting cotton, which I believe will require us to go to a bit more of a grassy planet. Do we have one of, one of those nearby? That's got a few things. Not quite a forest, though. Unexplored. Gentle Star. Do we really not go to that one yet? Lunar Forest, Lush, and Asteroids. That might be good. Why don't we go there? Because we don't need to be on the fish planet anymore. So let's just take a pick, peek and see if we can grab some wool off the surface of one of the foresty planets. Ooh, this is a dangerous looking place. There we go. This looks like the lush world, so... And then this is now available to us. But there are caverns below ground that contain vast fuel deposits and summation useful but not enticing. <laughs> Fair. And then weather is luminous rain and meteorites. And you can just get the fuel there so you don't have to buy it yourself. But let's just see if we can get some cotton real quick. I want to just show our face at all times if we can. Hey, spider buddy. Beam down. Then we do have our old base as well that we can just teleport to whenever. So that's good. Now let's see here. You got any cotton for me, friend? Oh, yeah, you didn't like that very much. So probably not going to like this gun very much either. Yeah, that's just going to murder everything. Because <laughs> we don't need to be... Oh, there we go. Later, buddy. Hmm. Oh, that way. Not seeing much. Carrot. That's fair. Hmm. Oh. Well, that was a good shot. Oh, food. Right. Sadly, I'm not a robot in game, otherwise this wouldn't be a problem. I'm actually getting a little low on cooked food, aren't I? That could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi there. Goodbye, sir. I wonder if I can buy cotton from anywhere. Oh, ow. Goodbye, sir. I'll have to do a little bit of research, I guess. The glitch still needs to eat, too, from what I recall. Yeah, they do. It's a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it makes sense. 
Oh, Jesus. Alright, these guys are fine with electricity stuff. There we go. Goodbye. Well, that does usually imply there's a third one. Goodbye. Yeah. Ooh. That was a good series of shots. I'll take it. Would be kind of an unfair advantage for that race. A little bit, yeah. Oh. I was not paying attention to you at all. Hi there. Yeah, you are fine with electricity as well. That's fine by me. Goodbye. Ah, that's how you get your living route, right? Then, nothing here. No real cotton here, either. I'll have to do some research, and then next week you can probably get some. There we go. Nope. Not quite. Ow. There we go. Go away, you mini radish. Hmm. Let's just hold this out. Oh, flower chest. Module, solve, bandages, money. Those are all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking like we're going to be a little bit worse for wear in terms of actually getting cotton. Figured that would be an easier one to actually get a hold of, but... Wow, that actually works. That's kind of surprising, actually. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, right? These things give enough knockback that it's just kind of easy to just stand here. It's like, hey, I got this stick. Would you like to look at it? There goes the little guys, at least. Then if we can just get this guy at a point where we can constantly knock him back. Like that. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> This is just taking too much advantage of the game's systems, but it works. It's kind of a slight benefit of the spears in the first place. And thankfully, from a streamer's perspective, that does give me some time to actually check chat in case anything weird is going on. There we go. Hmm. Nope. Not quite. Nope. And another one right away. Oh, there's a place here. Okay. That's a problem. Shoot. There we go. Just electrocute your friends, if at all possible, please. That would help out a lot. There we go. Screw the both of you. And how much damage am I taking? Not a ton. Go away. Then you, sir, are annoying. I just need you to stop. Thank you. This is a much bigger temple than the one on the other planet. I guess this one does kind of just expand things a little bit. Already known? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to take a peek at where I can find cotton later. But I think for now we're pretty good. So let's just go back to the top of our ship. And let's just wrap up for now. Because I need to eat. And I need to prep for tonight anyways. I also should put a bed in here. A little bit awkward that I can't sleep. But that's fine. Let's just go back to this screen real quick. And let's take a look at who we can raid. Just because Saturdays are always a little bit weird. Especially with New Year's, you never really know who's going to be live, but let's take a peek. Oh. Let's see here. I don't even have the radio open at the moment, so this is going to end up being a little bit quiet. Unless I do that. Alright then, Twitch. What do we got available right now? <laughs> and it's been a pleasure having everybody here. I know we do try and keep it calm just for the sake of me just being able to stay calm during it all. 
Also, what the heck is Mousy doing? <laughs> Mousy, why are you looking at Toru when she's vomiting stuff up? Not Toru. Um, Froppy. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna ask. That might be where we go. Let's just see who's live. Hmm. Uh, Zinbei's going. Crane's going with Magisite. Hmm. Yeah, let's just... Actually, no, because Mousy's going to quit for anime night in like five minutes or so, isn't she? Hmm. Let's go raid Zin. Zin's just starting. <laughs> but thank you everybody for joining at the very least. I know it's always nice when we can get a good bit of work done in our games, but Starbound's one of the slower ones, so it does take us a little bit just finding things. So, as for normal, raid one, raid two, raid, not wade, Zin, Zinebi, Ven. There we go. That at least gets us ready. Zin should be actively opening up the room in a second, so that should work out well. But for now, I'll be live in another few hours or so with some Dark Souls. Hopefully we'll be able to finish that off today. And then tomorrow we'll be continuing our Pokemon Diamond Poison Monolock. So, if I can see you, I'll see you then. If not, thanks for joining, and I'll talk with you later. Bye bye